for the last time. Street Fighter VI! Let's see the intro video! All right, let's keep All right, let's keep this energy high. No. No sound. Mics. All right, you guys hear me? You with me? Mandalay Bay, you guys hear me now? Let's keep this energy up. We're about to bring out our top 6 for Street Fighter 6. And first up, Please come out to the stage, Kakeru! <laughs> Let's make some noise for Angry Bird! <laughs> One of the five gods, Haitani! And now, the God Pug! Make some noise, let's go, Mana R D!
And we got one more of the five gods. Make some noise for our last competitor, Chokita! All right, this is it, one more time. Make some noise for your top six, Street Fighter Six Evo 2023 finalist. All right, now I'm gonna send this up to my boys on commentary, give it up for Sejan and IFC. Everybody to Evolution 2023, our final top six of the evening. Sejan joined by IFC Yipes, and boy, I would just like to say, it's nice to be back. Welcome everybody, hopefully you've been enjoying the action all weekend. We have our top six competitors, and it's gonna be a bloodbath out there. 7,000 people competing in this, and all of them now in the stands making a lot of noise as we narrow it down to our first Street Fighter VI champion here at EVO. And before I even get to the gameplay, look, I know I've been hearing everybody showing love to EVO, man. Shout out to EVO Day first and foremost, but I need everybody in the building to say, FGC, FGC, FGC. FGC. And I gotta say, they started singing that TMNT real quick. People picked it up there, like, wait a minute, is that Turtles? That, that was kind of crazy. I'm here listening to it, and, you know, and I'm bopping, it's cool. And then I was like, wait a darn minute. And yeah, there you go, that's a cool ass announcement. Yeah, that was pretty good, I gotta say. Aki does not seem like a nice person. I'll tell you that also. She seems, I saw a lot of people down there already, like, I could fix her. No, you can't. Don't do it, don't even try. It's not worth it. Yeah, I won't talk to her on the first date for sure. Yeah. That's 100%. Don't recommend it. You could do better. All right, everybody. Well, hopefully you've been enjoying all the action all weekend. Me and you have been vibing, hanging out, checking all the games, and uh, everything has been fantastic. We're going to be taking a look at our bracket in a minute here, checking out all the action. And again, this is the first Capcom Cup qualifier event, one of the three offline events that this tour will have. Yeah, man. And look, already we already have some familiar faces. You know, I was I, I was kind of hoping for the dark horses, but hey, I'm not complaining. These guys are killers. We're going to have a good show. We got Kakuru versus Angry Bird. These guys have been just stepping their game up a while. I actually did not know that Kakuru was the artist formerly known as... Uzura, yeah. He was yeah. a Ryu player in the last game. And everybody was like, dude, this guy is so good. How does he do it? And in this game, picked a good character. And look at him. He's in winner side top six of EVO, which is very impressive. Angry Bird, I'm really happy to see here, too, as you mentioned, right? Like, you know, a lot of shine gets put on Big Bird all the time. Obviously, Red Bull Kumite champion. They played round one at Red Bull Kumite. I think if it had been a different bracket, right, and instead we had seen Angry Bird win, I think he could have won the tournament, too. He's that good. On the other side, Haitani and Punk. Obviously, I know that a lot of people are focusing on Haitani. He's the modern gamer here. The, yes. the interesting one to watch, right? He's been the Terminator, walking people down all weekend. One button reactions. Yep. Looking very impressive up against Punk, who has not lost a game yet in this tournament. Think about that. He went through 7,000 men, and he made it here to top six yeah, without I losing a game. <laughs> Now, the thing that, uh, well, I'm a little upset is because, you know, there was so much that we was doing at EVO. I did not get to see not one match from Punk. All I keep hearing on social media that he's just washing everybody. Yeah. Hasn't dropped the game yet. So I'm pretty uh, hype about that one. Of course, Mena RD, Mena really Dominican. Delo Mio is in the building. Yo, let me hear my Dominicans real quick. Y'all there? Oh, I see the section back there. I see him right there. I see them, okay. Yo, that jacket, the bull. Yeah. When we right. saw it, we were like, what is this? Yeah, and then Tokido. You know, the interesting thing about this bracket, right, is that when people talk about Street Fighter V, three of the players they talk about as, like, some of the best to ever play that game were Mena, Punk, Tokido. Mm -hmm. All three of them in this top six. All come in full circle, man. And it's crazy because, you know, everybody's so familiar with each other. We've seen Punk and Tokido with Street Fighter V, you know what I mean? Mena, RD, of course, making history with two Capcom Cup championships. So. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for this top six. Guys, are you ready to get this going? It is time. I am ready. I cannot wait to see all the action here this weekend. And I got to say, you know, all day long, this place has been packed. It's been wild. The crowd has been going absurd. And I see the characters already up there on the Evo stage behind us. I am ready to see all this juicy action we have here. Top six of the tournament so far. It's going to be a good one. And it's going to be our first time having this game here, and I'm sure of many years. Man, I just can't wait to get the first match going. Do we even have our players setting up? Okay, button checks and all that is cool. So we're just going to talk. Sit down and play right now. I'm trying to see the matches. I'm really trying me. to see the matches. But yeah, I mean, we're at a point right now with the game, but we're about a month and change. Right? Yeah, a couple months in or eight, depending on who you are. Who are you are, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> just some, right? But uh, no, we're at a point in the game where like everybody's getting comfortable. We're getting familiar with the matchups. People are actually trying, uh, are starting to react to drive impact past 3 a.m. You know what yeah, I mean? So yeah, exactly. Everybody's starting to get comfortable. Look at this right here. The young guard, Kakeru, with such a great defensive style with JP. Like, you know, there's a lot of differences with JPs. Like, you know, you got the ones that got the good flow chart in terms of the projectile game with the yeah. spikes, the shadows. But then you have those JPs where they panic once they get into that low forward range. Kakeru, he, he just uses all his options from the air throws, from the anti-airs. Oh, yeah. He'll never overextend and he'll always play the proper footsies to stay on uh, to stay on his feet yeah he actually has footsies he could play yeah. neutral in the mid-range with jp which is impressive and angry bird too you know fun fact about these two they got back from kumite and on 200 ms online kakadu was running matches with angry bird and big bird he's like yo you trying to play you trying to game and like both of them were like yeah i'll play i don't care what the connection is i'm trying to get the best experience possible he had been streaming for 12 hours and Angry Bird and Big Bird could pop up in the chat. They're like, yo, you trying to play? No complaints, huh? And he was like, yeah, I'll play you right now. 200 MS. I've been playing the game for 12 hours straight. I need all the training I can get. And here he is in top six of Evo. That's crazy. Well, now it's uh, no lag, obviously, at all. <laughs> yeah, no MS. <laughs> no MS, yes, yes. So we're uh, cutting that Ethernet cord, and we're going to get this live. Man, who the hell is going to win the first ever Street Fighter Six tournament? You know, I'm looking at it like me and Sage and we just gazing into the screen, and we're like, yo, man. This really is the first ever, you know, Street Fighter 6, obviously, right? But this is going to not only, like, really pave the way on who is the killers of these games, like, officially going into the next tournament, right. but just the new wave of players that this is going to inspire right here is going to be fantastic, and I cannot wait. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, right? A lot of the people in this very venue maybe weren't even watching or interested in fighting games before the pandemic, and then now this brand new game comes out, right? It's real shiny. A lot of new players are here for Street Fighter VI. This is one of those games where, you know, it's going to define a new generation of players, right? And somebody who's at home watching this right now might be an Evo next year, the year after, et cetera. Jeez, that's a lot of buttons. That is, yo, bro, everybody has 27 buttons on their arcade What's stick What's going now. on here? What is going on? What are the, you don't even know what they all do, I'm sure. Right? There's no way. I bet you if you ask them, he's like, I don't know. This one's probably driving back, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're probably. Water comes out of it. Yeah. When I hit this one, it's nitro. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. And we in Vegas. So, right, round number one, y'all. Open the game and make some noise, Eva! And here we go. All offense right away. Angry Bird, I think, is one of the most aggressive players I can think of in almost any game. Yeah. And, and Ken compliments that aggressive style very well. Already with the amnesia. I'm trying to forget that that was a throw loop in the corner. Sets up the four. I like it. Meaty. Ah, oh, nice. Confirm. Ready on that. Spike. And he's going to set up. The OD1 recovers a little faster, so you get the setup here. That was pretty smart from Angry. Sorry, they did uh, to escape. Mashed on the back dash, landed, and parried just to, just to alleviate some of that pressure. Oh, the igloo button. Where are you going, good sir? This is a closeout. Let's cash out. Do we need a spin bar? No, we don't. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Side swap, Dragon Lash. Sure, you can round one. Angry Bird looking great there. And, you know, even though his offense may not work, he's never dissuaded. He's like, he gets up and he starts fighting right away. He's hitting buttons, he's parrying, he's backdashing. He never sits still. Mm. Lovely usage of the standing short. Okay, good parry. Looking for that perfect parry. No dice, though, so it's all good. You are not holding up forward, my friend. That was a good check on the jump. Oh, yeah. And Ken's jab is so good. It goes so far. Really, really good for keeping you locked down. Nice! We almost got to confirm that. That drive rush was sneaky. Spends the level three. It's going to beat up the drive gauge here for Angry Bird. So he's almost burnt out already. Yep. Now, I'm shocked after the standing meeting. He go for standing short. You probably didn't notice it was a counter hit. But that was in the past. It's the present La Cortina. It is time for the parkour tour. No, we're going to advance forward. I like that. The overhead on counter hit. Combo. Mm -hmm. Drive rush heavy in the corner early. Is there a counter or not? Wow, that was me, T. Plus dos. Plus dos tres, I think, I believe. Mm. Oh, yeah, La Cortina. But we almost going in burnout. We need some electrolytes. Wow, we faded out the very good. Oh! Hit. That was ridiculous off the EX Fireball. We're going to the next game, ladies and gentlemen. Angry Bird, game number one. The awareness was unreal. He knew it. He's like, oh, I'm going to go into burnout. Might as well. Just throws it, runs in. Run DP, level three confirmed. Damn, he's good. He's good. Oh, there's good. <laughs> there's right. real good. It's real good. Shout out to my BFF. Pretty sure he's watching right now in his, uh, in his box. He might be yelling Say Jam as we speak. Yeah, the <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love bodega combos. Five pieces that lead into Oki's works for me. Throw loop cereal. Ooh. Ooh. Shimmy on the jack. Mm -hmm. He caught him with that real back clock. Them up perfect for Angry Bird here. Can he be stopped? That's the question, right? Like, he's one of those players. If you can't slow him down, he'll run you over in three minutes, you know? That was a beautiful shimmy day from Angry Bird. He's on one. Mm. Respect to throw the tumbleweed. <laughs> the tumbleweed, yeah. It's been like that for 20 years. <laughs> Nice move. Send you all the way. <laughs> the U-Haul. 
what I'm talking about here. Holding that parry. And I like the shallow spike from Kakadu there, trying not to give him any extra drive gauge. Oh. Nice. Okay. Oh, that was a whip punish waiting to happen. Getting a little too aggressive. Dragon Lance, of course, looking for that throw tech. No dice. I like the counter poke there from Kakadu. Yeah, he's willing to swing, I think, which is a good sign that his defense is feeling a little sharp. He's not just going to let you get away with it. Nice stuff on the drive rush. Oh. Yeah. Easy peasy pickup right there. Punish counter on that. Gets the OD after. We got a round of peace after that first round. It's kind of a beatdown. Yep. We're looking for that one knockdown. I haven't seen like a sweet thrown yet from either player. That's how you know they, they trying to really hold down a uh, health bar. Ooh, he's fishing for that parry. Nice. He's got the meter to spend here. I imagine we'll see the level three. Yeah. This kind of fixes the drive gauge. So every time you spend a level three, you gain about two bricks and your opponent loses about a brick and a half, two bricks. So. It's really good. Nice exchange for you. Oh, the EX. The EX spice. We're going to have to take that good good awareness from Angerburn not to parry. Yeah. want to set the situation a little bit before we uh, want to cash out. No fireball game at all. We're not even trying to, like, risk it, huh? Oh, good block on the overhead. Angry Bird is conditioned him. He's trying to hit him with the overhead level 3, 100%. Mm -hmm. And then that sets up the, the run stop, too. Just go low, stuff yes. like that. Start to condition him a little bit more. Ooh, no check there. That's big. Angry Bird has a chance. He can win in one good hit. That's why the throw is real scary here. Mm, that was so mean. I like the, the walk of the micro walk just to get the perfect on perfect on the act that back to frame scoop. Oh, but a big drop right there. That was the round and now it's set full screen. Burnt out against JP. It's gonna oh be chip. Yeah, yeah, it's a wrap for got so much cash. Man, oh. that was players. He was playing schmucks. Yeah, did you see the minion was beating him down while he was doing the level one? He's like, yeah, it's over. Pack it up, buddy boy. That's a drop, and that's gonna hurt Angry Bird there. Should have been 2-0 instead. We see one apiece. That was a big drop, absolutely. And you know he's done that combo a million times. That's how you know, man, that big stage pressure, man. Oh, yeah. Even the best players. He's been in Capcom Cup Finals. You saw 9th at Evo. Damn, that was so meaty on the heavy kick. All from a sweep. Mm -hmm. OK, taking with sweet old time. I like the Dragon Lash, but we challenge with the crouch depth. He's probably reading the throw at the right time. Oh, yeah. And then next time, I wonder if he'll try parry to beat the strike. You know what I mean? Just mix it up a bit. I'll be a scumbag and just do Dragon Lash or you can. But that's just me. Let me yeah. stop being a backseater here. Mm -hmm. Backseat gamer. Hey, streamer, do this. Ooh, jump away from the pressure. Doesn't want to see that throw or not. Man, he is winning the mid-range so well so far. Kakadu, he's been fighting. Yeah, he's baiting out these parries, too, trying to get that drive gauge low. The confirm, level one. Deal the deal. Very nice. Goes up ahead in the set. Yeah, I want to highlight that, man. He's, like, staggering his pressure. That way he can uh, force Angry Bird to burn the drive gauge early. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned it yesterday, right? JP's win condition is burnout. Yep. Really wants to put you in burnout, so the lower your drive gauge is, the harder it is to win against this character. Damn, you heard the pop on that? I heard that. I think the whole crowd agrees. That was close. Mm, good block from the old ways. I see you. Nice. I think if he was in range off of the counter, you can get standing short into a short you can with Ken. No throws. Okay, so, I'm sorry. I spoke too soon. Kept it tight for a second though, right? That crouching jab. Punishes the throw with corner pressure, Angry Bird. Smart choice that he's counterpoting with the jab. Usually a lot of people counterpoint with low forward, right? After the standing fear. Yeah. Found Depending on the range. Another stuff on the drive rush there. Kaku is doing a pretty good job snapping out that crouching medium. Yeah. Uh, uh, watch your legs. You're not walking back over here. Uh huh. No Texas tornado. We're going straight into the gym, Ryu. And one more hit will do it. Knock him, man. He's trying to find oh, that yeah. hit. There's the bait, and it's enough. No meter spent. Round a piece, game a piece for these gamers. We'll see what's going to happen here. Ooh. Wow, I like the run stop. You mentioned earlier the overhead a lot, right? Now he's looking low. Yeah, still laying it too for the meet, uh, for counter hits. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yes, chuck the plasma. The outside suit mm -hmm. Got to wear him down. Mm. Oh, the whip punish. Spends the bar. Big damage on this, too, and puts you in a really bad spot. The igloo button connects. The whole family can live there. All right, here we go. What's next? Fireball game, or are we just worried about the level three? We are trying to play optimal here. Angry Bird. Mm. Ooh, I like the Angry Bird backed off a little bit, though. He didn't want to press too much in the corner. Risk getting hit by that uh, parry, which is a smart choice. Nice punish, and kind of punish kind of confirm. Level three on this. Yeah, missed space there from Angry Bird. He had the right idea, but just a little too close. Yeah. Oh, man, that hurts. Uh, we're even Stevens here, I think, right? Pretty close, anyway. Pretty close. Well, mostly on the drive gauge, right? Yeah. Early parry. Oh, wow, that reach. When he dashed under, I like that. He recognized he was going over, and he just went for the uh, drive rush to get right under. Ah, my favorite string. Jab, go low, jab, sure you can. 
Oh, good. Did not block the overhead. It wasn't ready for a combo. I'm pretty sure Kakadu was surprised that he even landed, to be honest with you. Exactly. And I love that awareness from Angry Bird. He saw him set the portal. That portal takes forever. So he just drive rush, hits the jab. You like you like that Ken Masters up there? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> Reminds me. You know, it fits you well, Angry Bird. I ain't gonna lie. You saw that there were two Kens in top six, and you were so happy. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm very cultured when it comes to the uh, world of Street Fighter in general, right? It just brings me back home, man, from the laundromat to the bodegas. I just can't, I just can never forget that. Oh, good check on the drivers. And got a combo. Wow, the awareness right there to know the portal was there was really good from Kakadu, but you know he's grinding, he's ready for it. Oh, target combos. Big button starters. I agree, churn that butter. Keep them honest. Oh, had the hit, didn't believe. A lot of pressure. Oh, a nice whip punish on that. That's really good awareness. Good damage. Not enough, but really good spot. Yeah, Angry Bird got to start checking them more and then walking them down with a low forward. Because what Kakaru's doing is every string, he's just walking back little by little, inching away so he could get those types of whip punishes. Exactly, yeah. And Angry Bird chasing down with the driver that time. Got him! Big damage on that. Oh, he backed that. He tried to bait it. Didn't work out. And now in burnout, but he can keep the, oh, the pressure. Chip. So scary, yeah, beautiful. The right spike for the occasion. That was the right spike. The landmine. Oh, oh, there it is, the igloo button. I need more of that. Oh, yeah, clean jump in from that low forward range. Mm, right. Try to hold up forward. Yeah, kept it tight, exactly, yeah. If you got hit on the ground there with no counter hit, probably trying to jump. I nice. like it. Good punish, yeah. Just take the corner, get the positioning, and scales from Perfect Perry. Ooh, is that the first DI? Yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is, yep. <laughs> in the arena, the first DI. Oh, he in there. Oh! That's a big one here. He is in CA range. I think he might. This is enough, I think. This is my kill survey says. Will it be on the show? We'll have to find out, but he's in the yellow, I think. So... Wow. It's enough, man. Huge Whoa. damage on that. Our first set of this top six. Two apiece. The rematch so fast, we barely saw their faces. Frame one. I like it. Thank you, Capcom. Thank you for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are optimizing. We're still looking a little uh, healthy in the drive game, so we're setting up like our team. Oh, oh my god! He, there's a setup over that. You can do a uh, gin rise too, but it depends on how you hit him on the jump in. But that was crazy, though. Yeah, that was mad high, too. Weird spot. He was in the air, so caught him. Angry Bird down on drive gauge, and there's a whip punish to lower it even more because of the punish counter. Nice. Nice throw. Yeah, good awareness on the parry. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Just do it again. Oh, Whoa. he held up forward this time, but good cross cut. Ow! Too far, and the counter whips. <laughs> Uh, 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 level two, please. Mid yes, optimize it. You gotta make sure. Every time I see that super, all I hear is, let's go, Dustin. <laughs> let's go, Dustin. <laughs> Every time. Set point here for Angry Bird. Mm. Ooh. Chuck the plasma. I like that range on the plasma. Chuck it right there, Angry Bird. Don't listen to us. <laughs> Backseat gaming. Uh. So scared of the jump, and it's just so much on the line, right, to make that one mistake. Yeah, and Hakadu's uh, entry has been really good. Oh, is this gonna reach? No, I didn't think so. Drive rush for the punish, yeah. Mm. See the ballerina toe? So elegant. Not even. Oh, a little early. This is a good spot now. Yeah, delayed pressure. He was scared of the EX reversal right there. Nice anti-air, yes. Oh, and the whip shadow just to try to burn out a drive fairy in case he tried to do it. Portal set up, and there's the throw to combo off it. Oh, no, maybe didn't believe in the timing. Oh, oh but the counter hit, that was the proper combo, proper sequence. He can get this knockdown. He tried to hold up for it again. He's getting opened up. Are we going to do it again? Got rid of his ground just to get the cross, or maybe an empty low. Yeah, and I think he was looking for the empty low exactly with a drive rush confirm, maybe level two on that. So last game, last round between these two in our first set of EVO top six. Oh, uh, push out of range, the portal wasn't there. Andrew Bird was shocked that he even, let, he even pressed the button there. Give me that. We had that range. He was just talking about that. That's what kind of nullifies JP's game plan overall. Oh, he was waiting for that one. And then the up back on wake up. Delayed throw. Angry Bird trying to bait something out. Maybe looking for that counter. Harassing in the middle of the screen. And the parry was perfect. Like that from Angry Bird. Use the fireballs as a poke. People don't realize he can use it as a zoning tool, but it's really best used as a poke. Yeah, exactly. Nicely done. And this will be a level three. three. That's what we would have done. Oh, yeah. Get that bar back. Kakadu, big lead now, but Angry Bird, full resources. He'll be below enough health to have CA here as well. That's why you see the yellow on the life bar. Mm. Oh, portal's Take out. Ooh, trying to catch the tech with a delayed roundhouse. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my favorite CAs. My mama loves this one. Let's go. It's back. Okay. Burnout. All right. Now, this is great. Great opportunity right here for Angry Bird to make something happen. Drive rush off the gate. 
No stop, Dragon last, getting close to the corner. He's got no meter for the driver. Oh! It reached! Jim Ryan. Oh. He over at the tree, does it. And just like that, Angry Bird books his ticket into the winner's finals after a scary little drop, but he cleaned it up in the end. That was winners, so he is going to sit comfortably in the winner's final. That was a great way to start the day here for Evo 2023. Well, to end the night with the start streak, but I said, you know what I'm saying. I mean, start of our day. Yeah, start of our day. There you go. That's what I was thinking. Ah, my God. Yeah, man, this is this is excellent. But this is what makes it even scarier, right? Who got what it takes to take it to Angry Bird? Now, I can be biased here, and I just want to see, you know, the lore match with Angry Bird and Punk. But Punk is going to have to earn it, right? He is, yeah. And, I mean, he hasn't dropped the game so far. We'll see if that starts here in our top six. Winner side, nicely done there from Angry Bird. Damn, that was a nail-biter. That was a good match, man. A lot of adaptation. You know, again, uh, that matchup specifically, JP and Ken, you get in that low forward range, no real shadows are going to be thrown out there. Unless, of course, you got the spike in the air to set yeah. up some pressure just to alleviate some of that worry, right? But that's how you shut him down a little bit, you know. But in, in Kakaru's case, he's just so good at covering all options. I've seen, I think he's like the JP that gets the most air grabs from what I've seen. Oh, yeah, definitely. And he's, his crouching medium punch usage is really good, too. He snaps that button down and just finds so much success with it. So I love watching him play. I think if you're looking for a JP player, you know, obviously he's a great example of someone who's really complete, right? He's good at everything, basically. So yeah. fun to watch, of course, and that's why he's in this. So we, uh, we're going to take a look at the bracket here in a second and back at some of the highlights of that match. And it was close. Like, I, you know, it could have gone either way, I think. Okay, let's see some highlights, though, of uh, this fancy footwork from both of our players here. Yeah, there's a lot of clean play in this one. I mean, it was it was really back and forth. It's kind of what I, I expected from both of them. Yeah, that was so ridiculous. Angry Bird, I think no one has, like, better situa situational awareness with this character than him, right? He's just so ready for everything. He gets the point. When you want to get aggro, if we're going to use cash to get in there and stay in there, you might as well. And he did it in a situation where he knew he was going to get burned out anyway. So, like you said, great situational awareness. Yeah, and this, the scramble at the end, he had the meter, and then just the trade not there soon enough. Angry Bird obviously feeling very good about that. And again, you know, a lot of people, there was a lot of shine on Big Bird for his great performance at Kumite, which is awesome, of course, but I think shine equally deserved on Angry Bird for how impressive he's been playing. Our next match we'll get is the Haitani Punk match, which is, I, I can't wait to watch this. This is like, you know, Punk, we used to joke, like, he kind of was modern by himself, right? Like, he doesn't even need modern controls. Right. And he's just that clean. He reacts to everything, hit confirms everything, and then Haitani, one of the gods, playing modern Chun-Li in top six, looking like a machine. So he's been really, really fun to watch. That sets up our losers match. Kakadu versus Tokido is our first losers match that we have down there set up. So it's going to be a good one, of course. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I think it's safe to say we are going to... Oh, no, this is after this match, right? Yeah, I think so, actually. Yeah, that's a good question. That. Yeah, so... We're going to have all these uh, matches coming up for you gamers. Hopefully you've been enjoying it so far. That was a good nail biter to, to see it. I love that there was only one drive impact that was like not when there was a stun. There was like one regular drive impact. He didn't react. So don't feel bad if you don't react at home. It happens to everybody. They don't want to play uh, filthy, but I promise you it's going to get later and later in the night where people are, start, are going to start not reacting to it. But yes, we are going to throw it to a quick break. Go grab a snack. Go grab some drinks. We'll be right back with some more top six action right here in the arena. Evo 2023 when we return. Welcome back, everybody, to Evolution 2023. Hopefully you've been enjoying all of the action in all of our top sixes so far. We got one match of Street Fighter Six so far, which has been nice. Of course, hopefully everybody's been enjoying it. We're going to take a look at the bracket again in case you missed it, since we went over it right over the break. But, you know, maybe you just tuned in. You're like, I heard the matches are wild. Here we go. We got Haitani versus Punk. We were talking about that. It's going to be our next match. Should be a good one. Mena is going to be playing the loser of this match, by the way. So that'll be an, a gnarly one. I don't. Either way, that's going to be a juicy one down there. And then Kakadu, of course, up against Tokido our first losers match that is settled and we know what's going to be going on down there so lots of really talented players of course in this bracket and this next match there's a lot to talk about of course we're going to be getting into that in just a minute here yo dude let me tell you something the fact that if Haitani beats uh, I mean if Punk beats Haitani and Haitani plays Mena of course it's a run back from what happened on, on Saturday they yeah. played a first to ten 
right? Uh, men are one ten six. Yes. So you would think, you know, you play somebody in the long set, you say to yourself, ah, I probably ain't gonna bump into this dude, right? But it's Mena. He's the bull. He don't really care. He's a killer. Yeah. But the fact that they're they're going to play when it really matters the most, but well, that is of course if uh, Punk loses. I mean, Punk wins. Yeah, we'll exactly. Which we'll have to see in this match, right? I mean, that's one of the. I'm so interested in this matchup. There's so much to talk about for it. And of course, we're gonna be having our introductions for the the lovely gamers that are coming up. These are the two here. Seven Evos versus Haitani's Eleven. Sheesh. By the way. And of course, yeah, you see that best result, Punk, that's second place in EVO 2017, up against Tokido, one of the most uh, famous or infamous, depending on who you're rooting for, finals, I think, in EVO. Very, very uh, wild set, great story there. Yeah, pretty that's throwback, too, man, to be honest with you. Haitani, of course, with the Makoto. I like when he always switches his styles. He's just yeah. he's a bit of a weirdo, in a good way, though. The last time I see these guys play was, um, like at a dream hack a while back, but it was Street Fighter Five. That was literally the first time I seen him play. I'm like, man, look at the old school versus new school. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's pretty dope to see him playing this fresh new game we call Street Fighter Six. Yeah, definitely. And for us, we've been talking a little bit about them. But we're gonna head down to the stage for the Cap Jam Band introduction alongside Long Island Joe. All right, everyone, let's get ready for this next match. Are we ready? Bring out Haitani! And his opponent, Punk! Give it up for Cap James one more time, y'all. That's fire. These guys are fire. I appreciate some good music. I'll be in the booth a lot, so I would love to uh, experience that when I, whenever I have a chance. But let's get to the nitty gritty. We already passed the curtain call with the first match. This match right here is pretty spicy. I mean, these guys are killers. Haitani, of course, making waves with the modern Chun Li. Everybody's like, man, what the hell is this, you know? I thought Haitani was an old school head. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be classic out here, but no. Showed the way. That's what I love about this. Everybody talked about modern, and they're like, yeah, this like 15 year old guy who doesn't even know Street Fighter is going to use modern. And I love that it's the old school legend, the god of Japanese fighting games, who shows up and is playing modern here. And he's like the damn Terminator. If you watch his matches, he walks at you. And he's like, what you going to do? I'm going to one button reaction to everything you do. It's terrifying. And then the other side, there's Punk, right? Who obviously is in the running for the best player of all time in Street Fighter V and then has had some close calls on this very stage. Second place at EVO back in 2017. And, you know, he is the modern person on Classic, right? His reaction time, decision-making, the snappiness of his play is something we've been talking about for forever. So is there someone that can stop the modern gaming from Haitani? Will it be Punk, right? Or is he just going to cruise right in against Angry Bird in this winner's finals? We'll have to see. 
But good news is he has camming, so he don't got to worry about throwing too much out there where he can, he can react with a, with a level three, although it, the spinning knuckle is punishable. But we're going to see that story told here. Oh, yeah. And when there's no meter for Haitani, this is when he is the least dangerous, right? Like, this is where, you know, jumping and trying to approach him is the best because he doesn't have super. Counter hit confirmed. Standing jab for Chun-Li is such a ridiculous button. Yep, yep. And on and counter hit and punish counter, you get crush if you can't pick. Yep, and the handshake, the standing strong. Yep, shake my hand, the knockdown. But that's the thing about this game, right? CA, very important, of course, just meter in general, right? But that's why you see a lot of strings in offense is because it does build the CA bar pretty fast. Oh, yeah. You build meter really quick in this game. You build about two bars per round or so, so yeah. you know, usually always have level three by round two. And, uh, yeah, Haitani using the air legs immediately. Damn! I tech. I tech. I definitely tech. Everybody in the building tech. Oh, now yeah. Now in the corner. I respect that. What a privileged reversal. You're out the corner every time it lands. <laughs> yeah. Love they're it. really good. It is really, really strong every time you get it. Ooh, throw back into the corner. Haitani's drive gauge. Yeah, I was just going to say a little low, so if he burns out. But he has to pump up the super, so... Oh! Nah, nah, nah. Nah, he was looking at the toes. He was looking at the toes the whole time. Nah, bro. He, just, you know, he snapped it outside. Said, shake my hand. Shake my hand. You know, when, when, a, when you see a confirm that good, you're starting to think, man, did he just commit or did he actually confirm? But it doesn't matter. He got the job done. Oh, no. Ah, Spine almost hit the wall, but we out of there. Good job to pump. Mm, try to parry, man. Drive gauge really low here for Haitani. Oh, you okay. can't do it. This is a modern gamer. I'll take that back. You can't react to a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You see that 3S little uh, side swap under there from Haitani on the super? Oh. Up with a chance here. There's no drive gauge, so he's going to loop him. And there's an interrupt. Great master knowledge. You can hit a button there, but... Yeah. Yeah, no cash to really make something count. Oh, yeah. No meter. Nothing you can do about that. Drive rush confirmed. Punk cleans it up. Round a piece. Let's go. With this young man. Yeah, that's what Chun Li is so dangerous with meter here, right? Because modern allows you to do supers. So snap reaction, you don't have to do an input. So without that meter, he's much less scary. Yep. Oh, looking for that whiff punish. Punk's trying to set it up. Try to play a good old fashioned game of hot hands. That's the high level footsies, man. Who's going to press the button first? Exactly, yeah. Punk is so snappy with his reactions on those whiff punishes. There's the air legs again. It's really good, especially it beats throw, right? So if your opponent tries to throw, you get punish counter and you can combo off of it. Uh, uh. Are we going to reset? No, we're going to spend that cash, designate that ass. I respect that. I want the burnout. Oh, yeah. But you have to be careful, right? Because you can't just drive impact on the free. So Punk, instead, I think we'll take safer pressure here. Catch mm. yeah, the jump in. Faked out the dive kick, huh? Yeah. Oh, it baits the throw. He gets to confirm. He missed it. That is huge. And this should be the cleanup. Game one goes to Punk. <laughs> Come on, High Tiny. <laughs> Come on, High Tiny. Not on stage. He is the alpha. Oh, yeah, that was cheat code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Throw? Looking for it. Yeah, trying to snipe it. And his defense has held up so far, but Punk, I don't think anybody's better than doing strike throw than him. He is just so good. A wow, snappy choice on the jab. Yeah, really good, really good at conditioning you to, to take the throw, or take it, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Lightning legs. No knockdown unless it's heavy. So, oh, he baited it. Wow, that was so smart from Itani. That was pretty good. Nice. Wake up, crouching medium kick. Level one to try to get the kill here. Finish, not enough, but chip. Burned out though. Oh, what a back that. Just to avoid block stuff of any kind, but we got it. Punk is... He looks uh, kind of clean. Yeah, yeah, I must admit. You know, and he's just so capable to play any character as well, So, but I love this pick. Yeah, definitely. I think Cammy fits up perfectly. She's a character that's extremely well-rounded. She's good at, like, everything. But she, there's nothing that she has that's so, like, oh, my gosh, she can't have that. You know what I mean? She's just, wow. Mm -hmm. Sweep under the rug. We're looking for our car keys here. Mm -hmm. Between the cushions? Yep. Oh, my God. Haitani is spacing, man. Punk's been trying to make it happen. Ooh, almost made it over that fireball, too. Not quite. Could have been air legs there, I feel like. No, ground EX legs. Could have got the conversion. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Punk trying to walk all the way in. Double drive rush confirmed. Nice little pick up there from Haitani, who's fully loaded with meter, by the way. Dive kicks, anything you want to do, he's going to be on the level 2 or level 3 on reaction. Yep, which means we're going to have to keep it honest uh, all the way through, unless, of course, he spends that cash. Shake my hand, please. We're looking for that counter hit. Oh, those drive gauges are healthy. Something's wrong here. Oh, yeah. I need to see block stun, please. Mmm, that low forward. Plus the walk speed. It's like you can check somebody walking back every single time. Oh, nice. I love that. Negative frames there, so he just goes for the uh, air legs. Bates the throw. Really smart. All right, we are going to save those two bars in case Punk want to get frisky with the dive kicks. Why whip him? Yep. Everybody whips. Don't worry. It's not just you. It's 
not you, it's us. It's us, yeah, it's all of us. And man, next up for Funker Kill here. He's got level three and tons of drive gauge. Mm -hmm. When he got the hit, Haitani was checking. In the yellow, level three, easy peasy. Two games for Punk, and he has not dropped the game yet this Evo. Mm. Yo, you imagine that it killed and Punk just throws the water behind him. And yeah, he just it throws it in the crowd. It's like, oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> All right, here we go. Punk the guard looking happy out here. See, when you have a healthy mentality, I feel like it can take you a lot of places. You know? Yeah, and like I feel like that's how he was. He was the best player in Street Fighter V. He had that attitude all the time. He was yeah. confident, feeling good, healthy, you know? Yeah. Good mindset. Knocked out. Okay, Maulish. And, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people holding up forward, but I, I feel like in that case, he was trying to do uh, air legs, probably on the hard read on the throw. And, man, he's done air legs so much, and look, Punk just threw him like five times. He was just like, yeah, I don't care. I'll still do it. Wow, wake up, dive kick, and there's the punish from Itani. Yeah, a little he too checked. close to the I can't believe it. DP Punk a round away from cleaning this up 3 0. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see this uh, stretched, but, you know, we can just move forward along with this. I like Buss ass. Ooh. Oh, my. Mm. Oh, and he let it rip. First DI of the set, and it works out for Punk. Mm. Stop man. holding up, man. <laughs> he is not trying to be there yet. He's trying to air legs, trying to get out, right? Like, he doesn't want to deal with it, and Punk's pressure is so overwhelming. Haitani on his last legs here. That is true, though. I can't, I can't play him Haitani. Mm, but we ready this time, and that's oh. okay. You got a big punish there, but you don't really have much to work with. Unless, of course, if Punk just wanted to throw random spin knuckles, we can't get a punish. Yeah. Oh, and the one button right into it here. This is huge. Haitani's drive gauge is going to come back first, and Punk's is stalled during this yes. level three. Oh, my God. So we're going to get a lot of block strings just to buy some time so we can have access to that. Oh, oh. not even ready. Punk the gods advances to the winner's final. Wow, he lost like one round, right? And then cleaned up. That is, I think, like the second round he's lost this Evo so far, or something like that. Yep. Zero games dropped, and he is in winner's finals of Evo. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what? I have to look at the archives of, uh, you know, his his uh, road in the bracket. You know, obviously, we're all over the place, and we can't catch it. But the fact that I'm hearing that, that he hasn't dropped a game yet, that is uh, pretty, pretty go good, if you ask me. So. I can't even say he has a chip on his shoulder. He has something to prove. He's playing the game, he's a competitor, and he's having fun. And that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's funny because, yeah, you see him in, in like events all time during the week. He's just playing in online matches, streaming and stuff, just hanging out like, oh, yeah, wouldn't it be funny if I use Hooligan? And like, he's just goofing around, and then this is how good he is. Yeah. Punk to God. Well, he advances forward going up against Angry Bird, but we're still going to have to go to the loser side of the bracket. I'm going to look at a couple of highlights before we go and check the bracket here. I ain't gonna lie, I thought Haitani last game he was gonna pull through with it, but Punk is just that type of player where he just won't put his uh, put himself in danger unnecessarily, unless yeah. of course he wants to take that risk for a comeback, but if he knows he has the pace of the match and that momentum, he's going to walk you down. So that's the name of the game when you play that man, Victor Woodley. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody else is better at like just walking up and being like, I'm gonna throw or not, what's up? Like he, you know, years and years of doing that with Karen, like nobody else is better at conditioning people than him, I think with that style of gameplay, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of cool that it, it's, it's Punk and Angry Bird because they're like really good friends, but they troll each other competitively, but they have so much respect for each other. So this is going to be a good match. But up next, though, actually, is that up next? Are we going? No, no, no. We gotta think we're going to I imagine there. we'll go downstairs to the yeah. uh, Kakadu versus Tokido match, yeah. right? So that Haitani has, I don't know, four minutes before he's going to play again or something, you know, after just losing on the stage there. One of the effects of not having uh, as many players in this bracket, you got to play real quick here if you lose. So you got to turn around extra quick this Evo. If you lose that matchup in winners, you got to play real fast. Yeah. Hey man, listen, man, shout outs to uh, Evo, because I like the little things, to be honest with you, and I like a lot of sports. So uh, can we get the tail of the tape? I just want to see how the introductions look for Tokido. We're probably going to see the murder face, the classic, the patented. Uh, oh, not even. He actually got a smile on his face. You know what? I like that. It suits him well. He always looks pissed off. Wow. Do you see this number of total appearances for Evo down there? Wow. That is a wild number. 19? I'm guessing it's EVO Japan as well included, yeah? So that, that is a lot. Though. So many years. 19 years in the game, 19 different hairstyles, 19 different arcade sticks. This man has been in the game for a while. He's, he's personally in my Mount Rushmore, so it's, good. it's great to see that uh, he's still in the mix of things, showing these young kids what it's all about. And Kakuru, of course, Four years that he's been here for four appearances? Well, he was playing Street Fighter Five a lot, so it does make sense. Oh, yeah. And, man, it's wild to think that Tokido's been around that long. Coming here all the way over to the U.S. and then obviously competing in EVA Japan as well. 
19 performances. And look at that, Evo 2017. We talked a lot about that. He played Punk in those finals, which was uh, really, really fascinating to watch. It was a fun one. I'm sure a lot of you remember all the great moments from that. So I'm excited to watch these two play. Of course, we're going to head down for our introductions. It's pretty cool that they get their own song every time they walk out to the stage. It's like, well, you got a personal band following you around? That's pretty good, I got to say. I was about to say, once I heard the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I thought we could just like request like old school uh, cartoon music, but that wasn't the case. That was a big surprise. Well, let's throw it over to Cat Jams and Eli Joe, of course, for the introductions. Take it away, my boys. All right, everybody, let's welcome back to the stage, Cockety! And now back on the stage, Tokido! That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. I'm not going to lie. You know, if I was like a gazillionaire, every song they play, well, I, you know, at the end of the concert, I'll just tell them to break everything in the back. Just like smash all the guitars? Smash everything. Yo, it's so ill. Bam! Just, yeah, that'd be sick. Just do like an elbow drop on the piano. That's it? Yeah, just take it out. That'd be, that would be sick. You need a lot of money for that, though. Seriously. Oh, man. What's you up? just, all you got to do is win Capcom Cup, bro. You get the million. You, if you just win Evo, win the milli, then you can smash as many instruments as you want. No shot. <laughs> you don't think so? Oh. I, bro, <laughs> I'm going to be online watching at Bodega Ken. Imagine. Your Capcom Cup champion. Just that's going to be me. I believe in, I believe in what you said, JJ. Yo, but man, look at the Asian don't raise. Uh, no, no, the Asian don't raise it. Yeah. Shout out to James Shen. He put me on to that, uh, to that term a while back. Still young. Yeah, how does Tokido look so good? Did somebody fall? Oh my god. I was scared okay. of him. Yeah, I was like, what happened to the camera? <laughs> Did a barrel roll? He was like, it's time. My ultimate move. Barrel rolls with a big camera, man. Just to the front. I got it. Because the that's the how you get the best angle of Tokido. Frank, bust out the tape measure, do a barrel roll. I got it. Man. Mm. Right, now let me stop. Hope that didn't bother y'all. No, I think they love it. I think the more you vibe, the better the commentary is. I am O. I am a, a firm believer of that, actually. That's what happened yesterday. Yeah, we were having a great time up here. Making noises. Oh, man, they didn't tell us about that. <laughs> Was the crowd doing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't hate. Here we go. JP versus Ken. Saw this match. He just played it against Angry Bird, right? And I think his answer looks really, really clean. The difference, I think, is Tokido, you know, he doesn't play quite as aggro as Angry Bird, right? He's not as aggressive as a player generally, I think. I'll tell you this. He looks a little faster walking on the left, right, left, right. Tip. I don't know, where we, I know, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. I'm right there with you. 
a button for every occasion. Ooh, aggressive already with the igloo bunch trying to score that punish counter for the big damage. Mm, did you see that little walk-in block from Tokido there? Wow, perfect parry on the fireball. Punish with the crushing medium kick. Mm, yep, that's that range of the fireball. Use it as a poke. I love it. Yeah. Now, like I said uh, yesterday when we seen Tokido's matches, I was like, Tokido's more of a freestyle can, even though I feel like he has all the right setups. Yeah. But like, he'll do like a short Yugen at the like, Jin Ryu kick. It could be like a medium punch or a fierce. He's just going to go for roll overhead. Oh, but, yeah. but again, there's a lot of visual cues where you can get a medium overhead. Yeah, he just picked this character up, right? He was playing Luke in the very beginning of the game, tried Modern, tried Classic, then went over to Ken immediately. Oh, I like it. He tried to drive rush into the Dragon Lash pick up there. Kakadu, nice spot here. Oh, it's going to hit. Yeah, and he gets the pick up, the awareness to block the cross up. And then Nil's like, oh, the portal's going to hit him. Cool, I'll get a combo. Yeah. That was a big, he banked hard on, on, the, on the top. So he probably thought it was going to hit naturally, right? Right. Good defense there, Kakadu. These guys are both uh, typing papers. They're writing their papers. Yeah. Oh, big jump right over it. So get, oh, yeah, fake them out. Caught that parry bait. Nicely done. All right, gets a little pickup on that. Takes a bit of the drive to gauge from Tokido as well. Uh -huh. Back to the schmuck meta. Uh -huh. Now man got a full screen overhead. Wow. You know, I've seen it before, but I never thought I would have seen it in Street Fighter. Yeah. Really I played a lot of NRS games, games, and I was like, oh, I'm right at home, huh? Time to die. Oh, was it in range for the standing short, for sure? Counter hit, medium kick, it does work out that way, but you gotta be closer. Man, and Kakadu is holding this space so well. Look, he's not getting walked back. In fact, he's walking Tokido down, even though he's supposed to be the zoner, right? Mm -mm. He said Dia. He's saying aunts in Spanish when he kicks you in the ankle. Dia? <laughs> Dia. He's like, Dia. Oh, spin that cash. I love this. The Texas Tornado. Oh. How you get ducked in the stomach, then the chest, then the chin? That's crazy. Unnecessary. A little three-piece all the way up. Yep. That, he is one of the coolest level threes, I think. Yeah, I love seeing it. Oh, the fake. We're trying to bait out the drive, Perry. Yeah, looking for it. Doesn't find it. Nice stuff. Oh, he missed. He tried. I think it was supposed to be crashing heavy, and he got down, down heavy. The spike instead. Mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. Nice. That's a setup. setup. Yeah, his light confirms are really scary, too. You can just check, 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 check all day. Looks low that time. Tokido strings him up. I like it. That's good. Yeah, I get the burnout. Oh, this is going to be tough. Are we in there? Yeah, don't give him too much space. I like that dash and wise choice from Tokido. Yeah, even though he's burnt out, he can still fight, right? So you got to cover the distance. Tokido doesn't have any super meters, so yep. now he has one. Correct. Damn. The breakdown. Oh, you're holding up. All right, you're holding forward. Sneaking in the overhead. Watch the ankles. Nice air throw. We was just highlighting that. Yeah, you called that out earlier. Level two. Is there a parry from Tokido? There is a parry jump. I like that. Didn't take much damage at all for that level two. Oh, that was cheeky. I like it a lot. Kakadu sneaking in the driving pack. Oh, and he's going to do it back, but he's dead. The, the reaction, the natural reaction. You're like, oh, drive impact. I got to drive impact back. And you just don't have the life. Yeah, see, in certain instances, uh, if you know you're low on uh, the drive gauge, you just, instead of drive impact, you just go for the parry. You'll build it up. And if you have an option, as it builds up, you can drive reversal in the midst of the uh, animation of the drive parry. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, perfect on that. Take the corner carry, double jab. No, just the one. Yeah, you want to save the bar. I see him. Yeah, yeah. Oh! He said, too easy! Mm -hmm. A little pickup on the wall, Chenrai. Good positioning, too. Yeah, he is He's keeping it tight, right? He doesn't want to deal with the uh, the counter, right? So he's not going for as much throw. Mm, good check on the shimmy attempt. Kakadu. Just trying to buy some time. Oh, the, the tumbleweed, the barrel wall. I said barrel wall. <laughs> barrel. Roll. I'll take it. Not enough, but drive gauge getting a little low for Tokido as well. Oh, I like that delay. Yeah, force the burnout right into the drive impact. And he has a super right there. He's going to take all this damage. Sweep for the timing. Pierce for the kill. Very nicely done. It looked like a light starter, too, wasn't it, huh? Yeah. Big yeah. damage. Sheesh. Burnout. Makes sense. All right. We're thinking about it. Tokido's having a bit of a tough time, man. He has the right idea, but he's just not quite finishing the job. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I like the up back. Kakadu's been doing that a lot. Block up back. Try to get out of there. He's been trying to jump away. Nice. Anti. Just far anti on that. Really good spacing. From the space. Exactly. Oh, we're in trouble. Our drive gauge is suffering. Tokido's going to have to do something to get out the corner. EX top two. He's just going to push himself out. Man. Sounds like a bull whip. Yeah. Just cracks him. And right after that, you're going to be burnt out, too. So this is a really bad spot. I don't know what so he said. Well, oh, what? <laughs> well, hold that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. And he just pulls up on you. 
He really did say well like that. Well. <laughs> well, <laughs> good game. <laughs> GG's. You're dead. Well. Ooh. You know what I love about Tokido's competitive spirit, man? That this dude, like, he'll put a smile on his face, like, man, that was good. I got something for you. Oh, yeah. He definitely is a true competitor. He's not going to be up here like, oh, man, you got me. He's just, he's fighting for it, right? Trying to fight for every inch. <laughs> oh, eyes on the prize. Indeed, Ken. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. The category five. Mm, and another throw. Way more throw in his offense this time. Oh, the perfect parry he knew. Into the corner, bad time now, jump over. Spike's still on the screen, so he defends behind it. He just backdashes to use that as a little bit of a shield. Mm -hmm. Okay, standing out of the range of that spike, okay? Real successful landing, a lot of throws on drive attempts. Parry attempts, excuse me. Nice way to switch sides. Missed the combo, though. That's a Twitter combo, I believe. Yeah, he tried to hit him with the fadeaway at the end. I like the idea. Double drive rush. Pick up there for Kakadu. They're both a little low on drive gauge. Oh, and the spike did the work for him. He didn't have to do anything like a real bad guy, but the drop. Oh, stay out of range. I, he went for the challenge. I figured Kakadu would back up just to heal up a little bit. Drive, parry a bit, but I no, wanted to stay there, challenge, look for that whip on us. I was going to say, I'm, I, you know, that situation too is such a checkmate. He's in burnout. I thought it's either going to be a level one super or he's going to get chipped, right? So, pretty rough spot. Yeah, true, true. I concur. Mm, anti air. He spaced it out last time pretty good, but good challenge for Fakito. Yeah, I like that he didn't empty jump this time, because if he empty jumped, he probably just would have got smoked. Into the corner early, Tokido here. Stuffed again, yeah, he knows. Kakadu not letting him get away with it. Anti-air looks clean. Every single time. Ooh, he tried to parry the follow-up on the Jinrai. Very common response. You block the Jinrai, then you try to perfect parry the low. Yo, I love when he gets set to the corner. It's like, are you going to jump, or are you really going to push yourself out the natural way? Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, you're over here. Let me talk to you for a second. Level three, I would have done the same thing. Oh, yeah. And it, it does so much damage, but also the drive gauge gets beat up. And so Kido, he wants him to spend the level 3 back, right? If you lose this round, but he spends, that's fine. Oh, no. It's time to take the oppression a little bit. Gonna have to make some executive decisions. Random amnesia bot strings. Let me see. No, we're pushing ourselves out. Oh, good punish. Give me some that. Give me some love. Oh, man. So Kido could have had the hit to kill there. He just didn't want to drive rush again, and he lets it rip. The drive impact, same thing in the first game there. If Kakadu wasn't ready with the super, he had to parry or something like that. Otherwise, he would have died if he DI'd back. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people hate Ken in this, in, in this building. Uh huh. Everybody knows that that drive impact is coming. It's just when. Yeah. And he just goes foolish and he smokes you, and you're like, dude, how was I supposed to know? A two and one. Mm -hmm. two. Spinal. Yeah. <laughs> It's a 26 frame mid. That's what they call it, you know? 26 frame mid. Just hit the buttons back. Kakadu, Kakadu smiling, like, oh yeah, I should have reacted. Yeah, you got me. Imagine that drive impact for the million or for the Evo Championship, right? Like, that could be the difference maker right there. Yeah, sleep before 8 o'clock. Yes. Most definitely. I'm not trying to play this game tired. Like the uses of the Jinrai kicks from Tokido. Using the, the medium kick on main one. It's a frame trap. You try to press a button between. You need a reversal. Yeah, exactly. And then he could just use the low or no follow-up, right? Maybe catch you trying to parry, waste that drive gauge, get a throw. Got it. We're spacing out. You're getting walked down. Tokido getting a little bit dangerous. But it's like one of those situations where, okay, I'll yield. I have no choice. Yeah. Let me find that opening off of this offense. Oh! That's what happens. One drive rush, you're a little late. Man, his perfect parry. Been doing it so consistently. And kakadu has been doing a good job fighting for in this middle of the screen. I feel like he's been winning this a lot. And then Tokido opens up with drive rush, dragon lash, jump, something like that. And he makes his way in. Really the important tools in this matchup. Caught the jump there with the Pierce. And now walking him down. Not a combo, but good damage on that. Ooh, jumps away. Mm. Nice stuff. He could have drive rushed one more time to get the kill, but now Tokido with a chance. Damn, kick the shins on the way in. Check the shoes. Never has creases. I can't believe that. I like that idea. Oh, one of the first ones we've seen, actually. I kind of like the idea. Baits the throw. Doesn't get the pickup, but good idea from Kakadu. I like it. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. You got to make sure that his defense is correct. I like it. Tokido hammering away with that heavy punch. Doesn't find it. This is going to be burnout here for Tokido. or very close to the level three. I agree. That's a burnout, right? Or a pixel? No, that should be a burnout. Let's see. Oh, close. Now we're going to have to think about it. Look, trying to avoid it by any means necessary, but didn't make contact with the drive parry. Very unfortunate. Oh, now this spot is so bad. As you mentioned, this is the win condition for JP, right? He wants you in burnout so that he can do this kind of stuff. Oh, but Tokido finds his way in. He's got full meter. Crystal oh, Heart available. Uh, he did it. He let it rip. And Kakadu says, I saw the match with Shudo yesterday. 
I saw how you robbed Shudo to make it here in the first place. I will not let it happen. Well, to be fair, I think Tokido should have sniped a little more in terms of collecting data, because uh, about nine out of 10 times playing Angry Bird, he blocked that overhead, right? Right. And you, you know, you're right. Ten players let it rip. They just do it. Yeah, so confirm. I promise you, I never lie to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, I did it. And I'd do it again. Thea, mm, mm. my aunt. Man, he really does say that. My Thea, Thea. I hear it, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. I like more fireballs. It's something we didn't see as much in the Angry Bird match, right? So Kido, you know, he's played Shotos for a long time. Really heavy on the fireball game compared to some other Ken players. Nice little drive rush right under into the DP. Oh, that was godlike. That's how you know he's snappy, right? His reactions are on point. That was ridiculous. Got an OP too, but good defense though from Kakadu. Yeah. He's been managed to fight this mid range so well. A lot of crushing medium kicks, setting out the portals, baiting it. That's like the first time he's done it the whole set. Kakadu ready for it. That was a pretty sneaky way to do it, too. I can't even blame him. Yeah, and the parry right into the reversal. Not that common, so... Oh, man, he is doing such a good job. Yeah, he is beating him up here in the mid-range. Now he doesn't have drive gauge, so he can't even really parry, although he can parry now, so he does drive gauge coming back a little bit. At this point, I feel like... See, in those situations, I've seen a lot of players do it. If they know they're gonna lose, at least just try to string them up as much as possible to build as much uh, uh, super. Yeah, CA exactly. bars. Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, you need to get your drive gauge back. You get some offense going, so... Set point here for Kakadu to eliminate Tokido, former EVER champion. See if he can keep up the pressure. Nice jab into the medium right after. Caught him hitting a button. Sets up the portal, and it's there, so he has to respect it. You see Tokido backing off. Good defense. Gonna crack on the pressure. Mm, the whiff crouching medium kick right into the crouching medium punch after to caught Tokido flinching, trying to do something on the whiff. Tokido smells blood. That drive gauge is low on Kakuru's side, so he's trying to look for it. He's trying to move in there and make something happen. Kakuru don't want to whiff nothing. Straight solid, nothing. Yeah, he's, oh man, he is clean in the neutral right now. He's not giving away anything for free, although the burnout's big now. Tokido has a chance if he can make it in. We'll have to see. Just because he's burnt out doesn't mean he doesn't have these great projectiles and buttons. Oh. He actually jumped. Did he see the drive game thinking it was a fireball? Oh, oh. the confirmed stop. That was beautiful. He's going to do mad damage, and Tokido's in burnout. It's pretty close. Oh my god, this is tough. Look, and he's, and he's healthy on the drive gauge. This is gonna be tough. This might be over. Tokido, can you get in here and finish the job? No anti air. And oh. we burned out! Do it for the low. Is he over? Oh, 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 and look at Kakadu's face. Man, he is going through it here. That was his round. He knows it, and now it's the last round between these two. Tokido, you know he's feeling good. I cannot believe he run that back. You know, you got, and Kakadu had that face like he's running, he's running low on steam. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, now you gotta guess, is it counter time or not? Trying uh, to hold up, rip the drive uh, back. Uh, uh, sure you on that, Tokido with the pressure. Oh, he was too early, lots of drops. Now Kakadu feeling it, but the stuff puts himself in burnout, but important to slow things down. Yo, I'm, yo I'm, I'm forgetting I'm commentating. I'm so sorry, guys. This is too good. Cool. Uh, oh, we're oh, fucking over there. Ant here is clean. Kakadu trying to slow things down. Tokido, he's got to try to close it out. Oh, That's so the right close. idea. Still plus. Light kick going in zero on block, too. Drive gauge back. Kakadu now. He can fight in the mid range with the OD Ghost, and he brings one out. Tokido's got it. This is very close now. This is a very winnable round for Kakadu. And the level two in reaction. Is that going to work? He parries and he gets the punish. He dashes in. Oh, the overhead reset, it's just combo. No! The Cyril, the level one, cleans it up, and he stays alive in the loser's bracket. Three to two, taking out Kakadu from the brink of defeat, back to back. Oh my god, you know, I should have played more schmucks before I came over here, huh? Man. No, oh, he's beating himself up. He was so close, but Tokido was ready. He was like, I should have known. You know, that situation, he was probably not looking at the bar, right? Right, yeah. But such a smart choice from Tokido. He churned that butter, and everybody's on their feet for Tokido. This is a household name, 100% part of Mount Rushmore of the FGC on the competition side. But Kakadu, though, man, we, not, we can't take nothing away from you. You had an excellent show. Guys, a round of applause for Kakadu, y'all. What a set between those two. And that was just our first loser's match. That was good. That first one. Kakadu, I have to say, like watching that, I'm sure everybody in this building is so impressed with Kakadu too, right? He is so, this guy is unreal. He's so good. And like, after watching that, all I can think is like, man, I can't wait to see him at the next tournament.
Oh my God, bro, that was very clutch for Tokido. Now, yeah, yeah. Kakadu was already a round up. So you think, oh man, you're about to set on the losers. In a pixel, in burnout, just found a way to get in there, jumping in those ranges or the anti airs with, and he just got a, a, an opening just to get his offense started. So very Yeah, cool. that was wild. I mean, you know how it feels. Everybody who's ever played and been burnt out against JP, you're like, oh my God, I'm dead. Like, it's such a bad spot. So impressive play and finding those little spots and not panicking to get in there is really difficult. Tokido, how many of these clutch scenarios have we seen him in, right? Like that set against Shudo and all these other matches. It's, it's unreal how he manages to, uh, you know, clean these games out. It's yeah, look at this. I mean, look at his health, right? This is a miserable spot to be. Tokido, there's like no way he should win this round, right? His odds are, are just dreadful, but he found a way here with these Jinrai kicks, gets the burnout, walk back there was so good. And you know, you know he's looking for the throw. I seen what happened here. That's why he was harassing with the Jinrai. I didn't even notice Kakuru that it had no bar, and of course yeah. the burnout, right? So going for the frame chat, switching it up from the overhead of the low. That was crazy. And and here, this is when it got a little bit tense. Punish. Dude, I did not even know you could do that. The level two on reaction like this. He goes with the overhead reset here, and the spike didn't hit him. Oh, man, that is brutal. The worst part, too, is if he had done a projectile, like a, a ghost right there, it would have stopped the level one, right? So he just went for the cane spin, and instead it just wasn't fast enough uh, to get the job done. Invincibility, Tokido cleans it up. What a set, dude. That was ridiculous. You know, it's all part of the plan at this point. Yeah. I feel like the universe is just throwing it out there and say, you know what, Tokido, I'm going to just throw you a bone. Yeah. <laughs> here it is. Now in the loop the semifinal awaiting the winner of Mena RD and Haitani. I want to see the lore match. You already know what I'm talking about. I do. I want to see it too. I'm very interested in this. You know, Tokido has history with a lot of the people in this this top six. <laughs> no, seriously. Look, again, uh, when before this top six was even, you know, set, I thought there was going to be more dark horses. You know what I'm yeah. saying? People that we don't really see, the, the, the not the household names, right? With right. a splash of some of the OGs or the new guys that we learn uh, to know in Street Fighter V and multiple fighting games. But, man, this is a good top six. Do you agree, my beautiful people? Hell yeah, it's been a great time so far. These matches are unreal, and we have so many more to go, right? Like, that was just the first losers match. Haitani versus Mena is gonna be our next one, of course. Uh, yeah, it's looking juicy out there. We are, of course, going to go to a very short break. We'll be back with the top six action here for Street Fighter VI in just a little bit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more Street Fighter Six action here live at EVO 2023. We got some fire matches. Can y'all make some noise one more time? Let me know that y'all are live and well out here in Las Vegas. Good, good, absolutely. And we're going to go and check out the bracket real quick. For those that just missed out, maybe you just tuned in, but a lot is going on. But we got one more match before we lock in the official top four of the tournament. Yeah, Haitani versus Mena, of course. This is going to be a juicy one right here. Haitani, I think, looked unstoppable until he ran into the only person looking more unstoppable in Funk so far. Obviously, played extremely well in that 3 0. Has not dropped a turn uh, set so far in this tournament, a game rather. And then Mena, who, you know, he made it in loser side here. I think a lot of people's favorite to do really well in this tournament. I think a lot of people asked for sure they expected him in top six of this tournament. And I think to a lot of people, Mena was the favorite, right? So it's going to be interesting to watch him up against Haitani in this. And I'm curious what character he goes with, you know. Obviously, you mentioned this is the rerun here. These two played a long set. And uh, Luke or Blanca always is the, the question for him. I think he's excellent with both characters. Yeah, I mean, it's all about style checks, right? I usually see, I'd say if it's a really, really good uh, Ken, we're going to see the Luke, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Depending on the level of like a guy or something, yeah, you probably see the Luke too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, Mena's just that talented that you just have, he just has that many options to, you know, figure it out. Yeah, and he's somebody who played a bunch of characters in five too, right? Like especially the hit uh, birdie with the Mena patch. They're like, all right, my bad, you're winning too much. We got to nerf your character. <laughs> so so you know, the patch. <laughs> they were like, you won, and they're like, nope, our bad. We got to get rid of this character. They couldn't allow Mena to uh, beat everybody up. Evo appearances between these two, six and eleven. And Mena, I'm actually surprised. I didn't realize when he tweeted this yesterday, he was happy when he made top eight, right? Because he's like, I've never, you know, I wanted an Evo top eight. You know, if I make top six and I'm at the arena, that's great. But I'm just happy I got this far. Obviously now in the top six and playing against Haitani here. Yeah, he, he's like he can scratch that off the bucket list now. Like, okay, I finally did it, you know. Not to say that he's gonna relax, but but yeah, right. man, Haitani, one of the one of the gods of uh, 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 Japan fighting games. You know what I'm saying? We've been knowing this guy for a while. I've known him more on the Makoto side, so but just to see him still here, aging well, and just still being here for the spirit of competition, 
and us on the microphone, man. Yo, y'all cool with us on the mic, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah. I just want to make sure. It's nice to be back. It is good to be back. I yeah. gotta tell you, for the both of us, it's been a while. But of course, all these lovely intros so far have been awesome. And this will be us going down to L.I. Joe, who will be taking it away with the Cap Jam Band, bringing in our last walkout for our players. All right, this is our last match to solidify our top four. The next player, Hytani! And his opponent from Dominican Republic, Menade! guys are pretty talented, I must admit, man. Cap Jams, I don't know what that was when he was like rubbing his like <laughs> his trigger finger on it, but uh, mm. that was pretty cool. The techniques. That's how you know you put out great music as a video game studio when you have an in-house band. Yeah, man. They were like, all right, let's 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 flex a little bit. Let's play some of our tunes. But yeah, we have our match here between these two, Haitani and Mena. And you know, the one thing about Mena is very few people grind like this dude, right? Not only here, but he used to fly out, and he still does. He flies out to places like Japan and stuff, and is like, yo, I'm going to be out here for two weeks. Who's trying to play? So a lot of the Japanese players, when I see them at tournaments and they see Mena, they're like excited to see him. They're like, hey, what's up? Because, you know, they've seen him at Japan and training and stuff. And I think a lot of people really appreciate that he's one of the people who is like, I will travel the world and try to get strong. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not faking jacks, not one bit, man. You know, there's a lot of people that play casually, you know, play tournaments and stuff like that. But when you have somebody with that much hunger that wants to send to the next level, you're going to have to do what it, you're going to have to have what it takes and you're going to have to do what you got to do to get to that level. You know what I mean? And Mena is a perfect portrait of what we're talking about right now. Yeah, there's a reason he's a two-time champ. And you guys couldn't see it, but when he came out, Haitani had a big smile on his face to get him, hit him with a fist bump. Excited to play him. Yeah, this is crazy. So, again, that, that's why it's so risky to play long sets with yeah. uh, players and certain things. In this case, for people that don't know, in the end zone booth, they played a first for 10. Mena won 10-6, but again, that's a long set. This is tournament setting. Let's see how we do in a three out of five, though. Turn blur. Uh. That's, my, that's my dude right there, turn blur. Shout out to Alex, wherever he is. <laughs> deuce, deuce. Making the sound. <laughs> mm. Shake my hand. The walk up blocks. Yeah, big, big thing about this matchup, too, is Luke has big gorilla buttons against Chun-Li on the ground. He is really good against counter a lot of characters in this game, including Chun, even though her buttons are some of the best in the game. That is a down-down gamer, and on this, one button. Beautiful punish there from Mena. 
And his offense is so smothering in this game. I think very few people are as good as him at just running you over with one kind of sequence. Yep. He's good at really forcing you to walk back, too, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. So he'll flip the legs here. Crouch the cross the short. Nice conversion. That was nice. Big damage. Optimal. Oh, my God. That combo was so clean. Everything about it. Drive rush jab in a crouching heavy is punish counter only, by the way. And not only that, dash level two right there is a very tight link, and he hit it. That was clean. That's punish counter only? Punish counter only. Nice. Punish counter only confirmed the drive rush jab. Oh, nice. Oh, why are you order? Man, that was so Dude, his pressure is so good. Lucas. Yeah, he the, damn, he's good. The turnstile drive reversal. Oh, he's seen the Swiss cheese. It wasn't solid. There was a lot of gaps, a lot of holes there on the offensive men aside, but that's all right. Low on that drive gauge, so it's a bit dangerous to handshake. He's just taking all the hits. He's with it with the scramble. Yeah, he's trying to get out. He doesn't want to get burnt out. His drive gauge was so low, he said, I'd rather get hit than block. Mm. Nice counter, folks. I like that. My turn? No, your turn? My turn. Yep, name of the game here. Yeah, the double legs combo, that gives you a safe jump after, so I like that from Haitani. Oh. Sure baits the throw. He was all in on that, right? Puts himself in burnout, which is a pretty scary spot, but with Modern, you can react and super the eye a little bit easier, so it's not as bad. Yo, that is so gangster. Yo, credit to Mena. I ain't gonna lie, he, he got uh, OG tendencies. My man got no headphones on. Stop it. I know. He's playing in this loud arena with nothing. A little drop there from Mena, so he's backing off, trying to get away. He wanted his drive gauge to come back. Haitani with the chase down. Hey, I like the level two also. Not burned out, but I, I wonder if Mena's gonna scramble. Yes, just do something. We are not trying to go into that burnout. The sentry gun. Doom. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Man, hearing it in this arena is wild. Now, there's no meter. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent attempt. Especially the OD version is really good when your opponent's in for now. Oh, that's a huge bait. Man, I gotta dump some of this meter. Missed the perfect knuckle. Oh, it's hot air with the level one. Pretty good. What's the spinning bird after, too? Drive gauge is back down. Mena, there's no meter, though, for Haitani, so he's gotta be careful. He lets it rip again. That could have been death on block. Gotta keep him honest. I guess he just didn't want to take the string out just to get burned out so quick, right? Oh, he missed the level one. A scramble here. A drop from Mena. And a chance. He doesn't get the completion again. That was supposed to be level one. Oh my god, man. A lot of drops. Mena definitely feeling a little bit weird about that one. Those jab, jab into the uppercut whip. That was level one super. I jab, jab, fireball. Level one super. I see. Okay. The bull, though. Little shaking, but still solid, though. Game number one. Punish. Haitani and burnout early again. He doesn't seem to mind. He's willing to spend that gauge. That's not so bad considering your back's not to the wall, right? But you already see Mena is trying to press the issue to put you in that wall. No meter on Haitani's side. Here it goes. You're about to get hit with that Crayola Rock Snow. We out of the corner. Ooh, and a big anti here too. Yeah, I like that loop from Mena, but Haitani found the right spot to jump out. Very not a perfect timing, so takes that plus one. Oh, wow. Surprise so drive impact. I know Mena's like, okay, noted. Oh, yeah, you know he's going to be ready for it next time. I like it. Throwing the shallow sandblast so you can bait out the parry and get your drive gauge down. Mmm, Haitani's just trying to get out of this uh, aggressive pressure. About to go into burnout, so we're going to counter poke back, I'm pretty sure. We have access to that EX sandblast. Uh, uh, uh. No perfect knuckle. Yeah, so he doesn't get the completion on that. When he waits it out, Mena being a little bit more patient, and then he explodes. Oh, my God, Ooh. barely missed. Nice, and he found that crouching medium punch. Very, very good. That's the one thing about Mena that I think is so good. He can really be super patient, and then suddenly, boom, all offense. Mm -hmm. All offense. I like that's why I like to call him the bully. No? Yeah, no yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. I mean, and that's one thing that's so hard to stop about him. I love these driver versus on drivers, by the way. Every time he does it, he's willing to take it. And yeah, not going to be a completion there. All right. At least you get closer and closer to the corner. Raw throw, yeah, condition them early first. I like that. When people go for that instead of tick throws, it kind of makes it obvious, and you're giving them my opportunity to walk back from the throw. Yeah, exactly. And interesting there, men are trying to use the air flash knuckle to beat the, uh, the ants here, but didn't get the punish after. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh! oh. He said Sam but and got kicked right in the face there. Beautiful jump timing from Haitani. <laughs> Another day on the job. I like I like my, my tiny space with Nice. He says, I'm minus. Why don't you throw me? Air legs beats it, and he gets a combo. Oh, and he lets it rip. Mena not ready. Uh -oh, we're getting a press here. Mm, trying to hold up forward just to get out of the situation here. You're absolutely right. That's what he's probably trying to do again. Maybe looking for it. And Haitani keeping that offense nice and tight. Level one, he just built it in the air. Beautiful meter management there from Haitani as he times it up one apiece. 
Yeah, you know what I think happened there? I think he tried to actually DP or try to read like the empty jump low or empty call. jump grab into the throw. I think so, you're probably right, yeah. Because a lot of people try to perfect parry whenever you do a safe jump, so yeah. empty jump throw is pretty common. Exactly. Damn. Yeah. Mm. He's slinging that sandblast, trying to make something happen in neutral. And then what's funny is he throws all these fireballs and then he just goes, driver's jab, right? He, he, he surprises you, he jump scares you with it. Mm. Fireball overhead, just put the nail on the train, please, on the train tracks. Mm. <laughs> I like how you matched them. <laughs> yeah, I just said that out of nowhere. Oh. Gotta add quick, says Chung Lee Haitani, though, on a prowl. He is getting his mall on. Nice! Oh. He did get the punish, but I like that attempt for a minute. He's really good at using air flash knuckle like that. The perfect this time goes for the heavy knuckle after. Beats the throw! He does that all the time. That's something that he's really, really known for. Let's spend the level one and another bait, and he gets the DP! That was so clean from Mena. It's like the more he plays, the more comfortable he gets. Haitani's gonna have to slow this, this man down immediately. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And I thought he even had a little smile, like, all right, you got me. Love it, man. That's the Luke combo, a.k.a. the Kurt Hennings. Reaction! Get out the court immediately. I agree. I concur. What are we going to do? Ooh, hit him with a classic third strike mix That's, there. That is a 3S. Yeah, the super jump medium kick. Goes to the throw. Mena with the big jump. No answer here that time from Haitani. Mm, wow, I thought he was going to be out of range. It actually reached. Yeah, maybe the fireball hurt box expanded it a little bit. Wow. He was ready. I'm surprised that B-Jump Heavy Bunch right there. No one home! What a bait! No punish though, and he's ready again! The thing is though, against modern players, I think you have to make him spend the bar. You just gotta do it so that way he doesn't have super meter for the last round. Yeah, that's so That's true. That's the way to do it. You just let them do the DI and let them do it, right? Just like make it happen. Mm. Mm. Oh, watch your legs. Try to jump out. No, no, no. That's the patented Luke right there. Oh, yeah. All right, condition. No shampoo. I see a lot of dandruff on Chung Lee's hair. On the buns? Yep, right on the buns. Empty jump. Bates the throw. Really good there from Mena. Perfect. Level three. Time to go to work. Taking them straight to Memphis. Oh, oh. Sage You thought I was gonna let one rip? <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was not too one there for Mena. Uh. Yeah, man. That's the, that's the, that's the safe word. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Lee Chong. <laughs> yes. The legend. Damn, that reaction was snappy. He was ready. <laughs> oh, man. Watch the toes. Okay, the knockdown. OP season. Oh, Ooh. wasn't ready. No reactions. Yeah, it's hard. When you're letting go of parry, trying to do DI is really difficult there. That's true. Level one. No, just Tensho kicks. No kill. Oh, this is dangerous. Wait a minute. That Probably was a big chance for the back throw. Yeah. I think he's going to try to force him to make a burn now, huh? I don't think Hatani's going to give it to him. No, maybe not. Oh, chance. He could have DP'd, but instead trying to get the Oki. Yeah, Mena trying to force the corner here. Ooh! No oh, stun, though. He just barely got the drive gauge back. Mena could win, and one more good hit. Oh! Oh, God, that was scary. And Driver puts put himself in burnout, though. Chip, Chip's such a big problem. Can he avoid it? Oh, and the comeback. Oh, he used oh. that heavy punch. Wait, is that That's enough to kill? I don't know. That's a burnout. That's a burnout. Is that the kill? He's dead. Oh! oh! The suppressor right there. No one heard the shot. Yo! Yeah, that is a suppressor. <laughs> School. Uh-huh, Sand Angels. Yeah, put him in the dirt. Put him in the dirt. Sand Angels. Round from Mena. Genius choice right there on that back heavy punch to evade. That was ridiculous, yeah. It was like the perfect attack. It was if the universe told them to do it. Ooh, Set him up that. Nice, right through. Yeah, you can try to throw OD Sandblast there, but Mena didn't even try. You know what, Loki? I'm pretty sure we're high key. Mena's telling himself, you know what? That was worth it. Oh, yeah. And Haitani, despite a really rough, you know, loss in that last round, looks great here, yeah. Keeps the pressure tight, lightning legs again. Heavy ten show after. Whip that back medium punch. Mm. Set up there, ooh, burnout. That was a gift from the gods, the back throw. No, uh-huh, that is the Bodega special. Crouch Fizz, holla. Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh. the delay, he finds the counter hit. Beautiful confirm from Mena. One hit does it here, whether it's low. Regular hit, anti-air again. In the corner, doesn't let the drive impact rip. Puts himself in burnout, level one confirmed. It's enough, and he eliminates Aitani from the bracket. The modern menace Woo. sent home. Uh-huh.
Give it up, give it up. That was a fire match. Of course, the bull, Bandit's own. Mena RD moves forward. Well, please give it up for one of the GOAT GOATs for real, Haitani! But yo, there's one thing I want to highlight. Hopefully the folks, uh, folks back on and Mothership will put it up there for us. But notice how Mena was doing crouching face the whole time. Yeah. It was off the strength that he didn't want to risk doing a rising upper. And then Haitani doing a air leg, so that way he'll go right under. So he's just keeping it solid. Uh, all the way through with a crouching fear. You are so right. That is a good call out right there. Yeah, crouching heavy punch was so smart. And you know what's funny is he did the same thing to Haitani in reverse. He was jumping using the air flash knuckle to go past the the Tenjo kicks. That's a really smart choice from Mena. And a really good call out from you actually noticing that too. Yeah, crouching heavy punch is very smart there. Yeah, man, that was uh, pretty clutch. We might see that on the highlights. Who knows? At the end of the day, I just want to be reminded that Mena RD is really that dude. He is really that dude. You look up that dude in the dictionary and there he is. <laughs> He's just right there, smiling. <laughs> Got the bull jacket on. That back heavy punch right there. That's what set it off. I feel like that was when the snowball effect started kicking in. Yeah. So it's off for the suppressor. For you sure. know, it's funny. As a Luke player, I, I've been trying to find a lot of uses for that move, and I found a lot, and I watched that, and I was like, you're so much better than me. Like, I, I was, like, astounded by how intelligent that was from Mena. That was so smart. And, yeah, right here, you know, he puts himself in burnout, right? So he extends with the drive rush. You know, it doesn't work out for him. Using the evasiveness, yeah, with the drive reversal, using the evasiveness of the back heavy punch here is so smart. Look at this. Oh, my God, Mena, stop. And he just does level two. And look at how much damage that did. That dude said, oof. Yeah, he is so cool in this game, man. That was really smart. And in this position, too, the crouching heavy punches here. You're Wah. so right. Yeah, he's trying to, you know, make sure he doesn't get hit by the air legs. Beautiful call out from Mena. And really smart to think of that during the match, you know? Yeah. He was very worried. He just wanted to do the the, the, the low, like, low risk, yeah. high reward. In this case, of course, keep that corner pressure. That was so nice from NRD. Credit to the man. Yeah, and that's the level one. He missed a couple of those level ones in, like, the first game, I think. And it didn't dissuade him. He Right there, he just did boom, boom, light, light, super, right? He just gets it, and he's like, yep, I'm good. I don't have to worry about it. So look at our match. The Capcom Cup Finals from 2017. Mena and Tokido right there in our loser semis. Up in the winner's finals, of course, Angry Bird versus Punk. Mm -mm -mm. A battle of the homies, really. Angry yeah. Bird and Punk. So I got some intel from the homie Ringe, man. Shout out to Ringe. Uh, they played two first to fives as soon as mm -hmm. they got to Las Vegas. Angry yeah. Bird won the first one, I believe, 5 2. And Punk won the second set, 5 4. I think you're right. Yeah, I saw a bunch of those sets when they, they first landed. There was a stream from the two birds, which is great. I highly recommend checking out their streams, FGC underscore birds. And I think, like, basically everybody in this top six streams, actually. I've watched all of their streams, so check them out if you're looking for some action. But yeah, they were really, really good sets. I encourage everybody to check them out. There's some, like, Sonic Fox Angry Birds sets on there, too. And then they had to play in tournament, which is pretty funny. We, we talked about Haitani Mena, and they had to play in tournament again. What I love is that all of them were like, I'm in this bracket this weekend against you, I'll play you anyway. That's a fact, man. Nobody's ducking, man. But no. look, before we go to this break, man, let's just throw it over to Cap James for the one man last time. Give, give it up and show some love to them guys, man. They are looking so cool up there, ready to play these jams. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Street Fighter VI. Welcome back, everybody, to Evolution 2023. There was over 7,000 people for Street Fighter VI. We are down to four. And it is time for our winner's finals of our very first Street Fighter VI Top Six 
here at Evo. Man, and what a top four we have. Let's take a look. Of course, you saw them, the boys on the on the stream just now on the stage. Angry Bird versus Punk. Cannot wait. I feel like that's going to be like the next saga of Street Fighter. These guys are going to be seeing each other a lot more down the pipeline. So I'm excited for that. And of course, we got the classic, as you mentioned, the Capcom Cup. I think it was 2016, was it? 2017. 17. Okay, yes. Finals. Mena RD versus Tokido. Man, these are some dream matches. I am not upset at this top four. Hell, the whole top six was beautiful. The whole 7,000 was beautiful, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. These matches have been so good all weekend. Like, I think it's, it's wild that we we are not done with this top six, right? But that Tokido Kakadu set is, like, already an all-time, right? Like, that was so good already. And then that Haitani Mena set was wild, too. And this one, I mean, it's going to be a wild one. I'm really excited to watch Angry Bird versus Punk. These two have looked so clean all weekend. I feel like they've looked unstoppable almost, right? So it's finally time for them to butt head heads here. In winner's final of the tournament, over 7,000 people already out. And we have our four up there on the stage. Very, very impressive to them, of course, for making it. And appreciate everybody who entered the tournament. Whether you got 7,000 plays or you're in the top six here, that's a lot of gamers that show up and play in our very first Street Fighter Six here at EVO. Tail of tape between these two, the tail of the tape. You're right, it, is, it does sound pretty good, right? <laughs> for real, man. Ah, uh, tail of the tape. The throwback, man, of course. Yo, Punk is all smiles. They both look happy. Listen, hey, don't be fooled by Angry Bird. He's creeping me out right now. But I'm telling you right now, that's a happy fellow, okay? <laughs> that's his happy face right there. That is he's his smiling. happy face. Yeah, he's smiling right there. <laughs> like, big smile, and that's his face. That's how he looks. But yeah, I, actually, very sweet. I don't know if any, you've talked to him for a bunch. Same thing with me. Every time I talk to him, he's always super nice to talk to. He's really, really clever about the game in and out. And he's always got a lot of interesting stuff to say. I love talking to him about the game. So it's very, very cool to see both of them here. Look at their Evo appearances, 2018, 2017. Punk had that breakout year in 2017. And these two are so good. Capcom Cup uh, finalist many times between the two of them as well. Obviously been on this stage many times for Punk. I see him laughing on the camera right now. They're on stage. These two are gaming. Of course, we're going to go down to L.I. Joe right before our winner's finals here at Evo. Everyone in the house, can you hear me? You guys have been getting high for Chipotle yet, have we not? You guys have been getting really high for Chipotle ads, have we not? Thank you very much. I want you all to know, besides this wonderful backpack that you see right here that's been given up, give it up for the backpack. <laughs> you guys still have an opportunity to win a free burrito or a free bowl. I want you all to take out your cell phones to put them in the air. Quick, take out your cell phones, put them in the air. Up top, all right, I like it. Everyone's cell phone out? All right, now look at your cell phone. And I want you all to text SMA828. And that is gonna go to 888222. The code should be right down here. Oh, look at that, right down here somewhere. SMA828 to 888222. And if any of you want a free burrito, I want you to take a picture with me and your phone that you want a free burrito or a ball. Do we got a deal? Got one? We'll take a picture later. He won one. See, it's real. We got another one. We got another one. We got another one. <laughs> all right, all right. I owe you guys a lot of pictures. I'll meet you outside after grand finals. Say Jam, Yives, take it away, guys. Let's go. Joe, Joe, you are, Joe, you are the man of the people. You know how many pictures your, your kneecaps or ankles are gonna hurt, but it's all for the culture. I promise you. We all love you, so we do take those time, that time out to talk to the people. Okay. He's like the mayor. Yes, he yes. He He's like, like the mayor of Evo at this point. He runs around, does everything. I love Li Joe as the host because he's just happy to be here. You like can't ask for anything better, right? He actually just loves his job. Mm -hmm. I like how Paul probably talking to. Uh, Angry Bird, like, hey man, do you like El Pastor? You an El Pastor fan? You gotta get a bowl, white rice, black beans, fajitas, corn, guac, lettuce, of course, those are the staples. Get the hot salsa. I like how they had a little pep talk. Man, how was your day today, man? You know, I was just eating Chipotle before yeah, I was you playing. You <laughs> gaming? You in, the, in, the, in the top six. Casual conversation, but now all of that goes to the side. Who will, will earn that right to go to the grand finale? We start right now. Yeah, Punk so far has not lost the game this Evo, just for reference here in this winner's finals. Angry Bird on the other side has looked extremely offensive, extremely solid. Every interaction, he is all aggro. And they're running over a lot of these players as we see an early pick up there from Punk into the corner. And this is where he starts. This is where he cooks, honestly. This is how he beats the best players in the world. Yeah. 
the good old walk down. That's it. He successfully won the neutral. Now the question is, how is he going to open him up? Beautiful stuff there from Angry Bird with the counter poke. Just to get some pressure. No open up, but at least he pushes himself out the corner. Uh, uh. Yeah, look at Ken's corner carry all the way coast to coast. Yep. Now Tatsumaki Senpukiaku, the Category 5 throw loop serial. Oh. Punk with the jab tech trying to get out. Drive gauge in trouble, so a drive rush put him in burnout. The dive kick, he found the timing, and it was right in the middle of that. Oh, doesn't get a completion here for a kill. And Punk, you know, he's churning right here, waiting for a Dragon Lash, waiting for something. He's got a whiff, and he finds it for the punish counter, and a pick up with the target combo. Round the Punk. I like the attempt from Angry Bird to just wake up with low forward. Just so, yeah. you know, psych out Punk. You know, Punk looking probably for a reversal or a throw. Exactly. All right, here we go. We at that zone. Don't want to really throw fireballs. Gonna have to condition him. That spin knuckle is available. So you're a little bit in checkmate. And a little missed time there on the throw, or on the pressure, so he gets back around to the corner. Nice. I like the roundhouse into the far. Just crashing medium punch buffer into the drive rush. Stuff on the spin knuckle. Mm. We interrupt the interrupt. Oh. Wow, no anti here from Angry Bird. It's very rare, but good spot now. Has level three available. Very bent. Yep. Sometimes it's not about that health bar, ladies and gentlemen. It's that drive game. So I always appreciate when you when you use that CA real early. Oh yeah, and it's very close to a throw killing right here, right? So good position to be. Punk though now in CA. Oh, I like it. Every single color right there. Green into the red. Immediately just catches them off guard. Drive rush, drive impact. That's why Chun calls it Crayola Rocks. Yeah. Oh, don't. Ooh, and I like the back that's trying to be to throw there. Wow, jab and a rough punk. More dive kicks now. Let's go. Mm. Wow, you mm. saw that? That's a plan right there. Yep. Catch him from moving forward. That light kick buffer punish, but a little too far for the crouching medium punch. Oh my god, punk is looking snappy. That's like the best cross cut you could get right on the cross of Tatsumaki. It's like guarantee, really. Man, Angry Bird's been stuffed like four times. He still does Dragon Lash. Like, he cannot be dissuaded from pressing. Okay, with Jack standing fierce. No, we're looking for the shin. Stand fierce. Mm. Bro, Bay picks up a clean combo after Punk. One hit away here with his level three. Yeah, one low forward for sure. A low forward and a dream. A counter poke and a dream. Oh, he tried it, but got met with the stand jab. Level two? That's what I would have done. Every Ken M player in the building would have done that. Question is, does Punk wake up buttons? Oh, he wakes up level three and a block. Damn, that did a lot of chip, but still the kill. Angry Bird puts the first bit of damage on Punk's perfect record so far here at EVO. That's true. First blood. Remember, these guys played in some uh, some sets before all of this went down. He may probably on a Friday night, not too sure, but regardless, that's in the past. This is present. Nice. Snipes are walking back. Now we get the knockdown. Throw conditioning. Man, this is how we saw the start of the last round, too. Game one, round one, similar spot. Side swap, sure you for the pickup. Uh, uh, throw loop zero. We're gonna do it? All right, we're gonna reverse on now. I smell it. No, try to jump out. You're right, and he caught a medium enough to link off that jab. A heavy bunch right into the standing jab, pickup. Ooh, and there it is. He tried that that last round and missed it. Stuff on the drive rush, finds the punish counter dive kick over the crushing medium kick. Yep, double digit numbers on that punish counter. Back throw, good technical. Walk down. I love the jab whip into the crouching medium kick. Punk shutting down those options. Not enough. He saved the level one and he finds the jumping light kick. Greedy with the meter, but it paid off. Oh, let's go. I want to be biased, but I can't. <laughs> All right, knockdown. Early on. Raw throw. No. He delayed the crouching face. Was a little too far from the crouching jab. Oh, no anti here. Maybe that jumping heavy one from Ken is just so high. It's really difficult to anti here sometimes. Yeah, it's nice on like the delay DBs, right? Yeah, which is what most people do because it's the, it's the good way to anti here. Ooh, no whip punish. Angry Bird taking advantage. Might spend that level three. Yeah, get rid of the drive gauge. Respect that early on. Gonna have that drive gauge opportunity to be nice and healthy. Punk, though, however, bleeding a little bit. Ow, look how much that took. That took half the reactions. That is a proper finish. Angry Bird, stop. Uh-huh, and as soon as that hit, Punk already was taking a drink. Go. Gotta do it. Yeah, tried to let it rip, didn't find a good spot, and now he drive rushes forward, lots of offense early. Spent a lot of drive gauge, though. So the effects when he does the run step kick, just see the, like, the plays on the kicks? Yeah. The trail. Wow, Got close it. enough, nice. I got the jab, crouching medium punch. He was a little too far for that last time. Wow, the whip punish. So clean from Punk. The jump back, wow, that hit, I'm so surprised. That was so good. That's not, that's probably like a thing, like, uh, uh, that they, they know each other, right? Yeah, are gonna get that money. That fadeaway jump heavy kick so far. It just gets that medium kick into the target combo right after. Mm. Ooh, both buffering some lights here. 
Wow, dive kick was so far away. Still connected and up back from Angry Bird. He's done that a lot. It's pretty good. Ooh, no whiff on Ash Punk. Waiting for something else, maybe not ready. Okay, let me get that. We are in a low forward in a dream range right here for Angry Bird. And we got a level two that is guaranteed finished. Mm, I like that from Punk. A whole lot of nothing is waiting, trying to find that opportunity. Mm, being patient, not even trying to anti -air. He want to stay on his feet. Oh, the dome. That could have been a level. No, actually, can he do level two after that? I'm not too sure. But what I do know is he's going to get hit with the C8. Yeah, this is big here, too. It's a guess for the game now. Huge damage on this. Still in burnout. Near to the corner, so drive impact's a little scary as well. Doesn't let it rip just yet. You know he's buffering. Ooh, scary spa pressure from Punk. Angry Bird puts him in burnout now. Good all right through. Wow, that was so smart there from Punk. The back dash spin knuckle. I like the transition into the trophy. Like, I don't know who's gonna win here, but somebody's gonna take it. Uh huh. <laughs> Punk did the little bird man hands right after. Feeling nice and warm. Bam. This time an early start from Angry Bird down on drive gauge because of it. Ooh, somebody got to potentially deal with Mena and Tokido. Are you serious? Ooh. No, that loser's racket looking gnarly. Wow, wake up. Medium punch, you feel like that? Yeah, yeah. beats the stagger attempts, right? But you got to be that confident. You got to be sure. Yeah. That's a good read. That is. You got to be ready. Ooh, whiff. Yeah, that's a punish. Side swap. That's the privilege, right? Oh, and just gets flip meaty. Try to hit a button or throw or something like that. Yo, this is high level right here. And it's only about month two. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that block in his toes. Punk is obviously trying to push him to the corner to whip and catch those low forwards. I like the back that from Punk there too. I think he's waiting nice. He sleeps himself nicely. The parry, yeah. No drive uh, impact wall splash. Oh, drive rush, of course. Nice. Good. Punish counter punish too. He got crushing jab standing heavy. Mm -hmm. The classic. Level three? No, he didn't have the ball. Went for the safe jump. Would have been a little safe, of course, if he neutral tech, but he back recovered. Yeah, back roll is really good against safe jumps in the middle of the screen, for sure. A punk, one hit away again. Level three, locked and loaded. Man, reversal crap to medium kick. It goes so far to catch that walk back. Spends it. I love the wise choice of doing the run DP into the CA. That way he don't lose the corner off of the dragon lash. That was pretty good. Yeah, and you put him in the corner, right? You get that extra space. Who walks up? Nothing! Just wait. Tight, do it. Stop your prey. Caught the shimmy. That was like the best possible way to do it. Take some health, right? Why not? Very clean. Game of peace, round of peace. Punk a huge meter advantage. Having level three on the last round is so big. Oh, and that's a huge block. To hit the brakes with the stand jab after the drive rush. That was excellent, excellent. Oh, Punk can't block here. He gets put in burnout. Yeah, he might just rip the super. No, he wakes up jab. Oh, this guy's cracked. That was high level. He was ready for Oh, no way. That two piece. Bro, for a second there, I thought he tried rushed to do Jinrai over the fireball. My or DB. Man, Punk is just getting chased down and beat up in this round here. And he's a little late to check it, and that is going to be a cleanup. Angry Bird goes up two to one here. So he's getting hit with the drive rush jabs, right? It's stumping out either a crouch or jab or a low forward. But it looks like Punk is trying to, uh, you know, probably react to it a little too late. But the range that he's doing the standing jab, I feel like it's stuffing out the low forward attack. Yeah, ooh, he's looking for that. That's counter hit only. Stand like kick, drive rush, standing medium punch from Ken. We are spending cash. Mm -hmm. Early, trying to get that advantage, right? Push to the corner, get the offense. Nice jab, check that stop sign from Punk. This is the only person we've seen so far where Punk can't slow him down, right? He can't stop the drive rush, the dash, the offense. Wow. <laughs> Scary spot. Rip that Dragon Lash. Almost caught the recovery of that crushing medium punch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get that good old-fashioned combo, the loop. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of that head advantage into the throw after the gen ride. That was pretty good. Unhand me, woman. Ooh, and finds it. Gets the target combo confirmed. Punk great pressure here. Jump in. Parry attempt. And that jab buffer. Wow, so good. Angry Bird has level two here. Yeah. Remember, technically, Jazz in this game, with the exception of Zangief, of course, does not have plus frames, right? So if you wait for like a three hit change, you can always take your turn back, you know? And that buffer right after in a drive rush is really good. Yep. Gives you an extension, gives you a good combo. So set point here for Angry Bird to try to make it all the way into that grand finals winner side. Yo, these boys scrapping! They are swinging, yeah. And I think that favors Angry Bird, to be honest with you. Oh, stand short. Yes, the conversion. And he risked it, he gets out of there. That's a big one, Punk. Yeah, he's trying to wait for the drive gauge. Finds the hit, cleans it up, level one to try and get the kill. It's enough. We need cash for Angry Bird in the next round, I understand. Yeah, great jump back on that Dragon Lash. So he was trying to retreat, get rid of that drive gauge early. Hit though, Angry Bird into the corner. Punk's gonna start making some guesses. Opening Gambit, walk up low forward, that's confidence.
Oh! I like it. The way Punk changes offense up and the adjustment from Angry Bird. Who caught the jump back there? I feel like he's gonna do it between strengths. Or EX reversal. Wow, he left that Dragon last with too. Nice stuff again. Punk ready this time. Next they could do it. Very scary, man. Harassing him. And now Burnout fades it. Walks back. Level three. Easy peasy. Just like that. We are going to a game five in our winner's finals. And I wouldn't want it any other way. These guys are putting on an amazing show in front of this capacity crowd right here. Evo! Talk to us. You loving that? Five action. Yeah, and I, some of the adjustments Punk's making. Nice. He's beating the throw now. He was doing jab, 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 saying, hey, don't jump back. You're not fine. He woke up Dragon Lash? Why not? Why not? Indeed. He just gets out of there. I like the choices from Angry Bird here. He's hard to stop it. Just like that's why he catches Punk off guard. Unhand me, please. Oh, good win for He was waiting for that one. Waits across the street. There you go. He's out of there. Ooh, I like that little walk back clean. And he got the punish counter, so Stan like kicking to the Jinrai. Man, the respect on the Stan Fierce off of the drive rush is definitely shown here. That's why you see Punk is like, you know what? You're going to have to throw me, bro. I'm not tapping. Ooh, he's staggering now. I like the block, too. And he goes for the overhead links off it. Delays to get the button. Angry Bird on set point. Good call out, because that's exactly what was on the blueprint. Nice. OK, let's see, Punk. Looking for the shimmy, no dice. Shallow dive kick this time. Stop the drive rush. And it's like, drive rush, if drive rush doesn't work, Angry Bird's like, cool, I'll drive rush or do Dragon Lash right after. Catch the low. Mm, whip punish the crouching jab. Of course, Punk is just looking for the text, for the checks on the dash. Uh-oh. Throw and a throw. Wake up, jump. I like that idea. Yeah, he didn't want to get thrown again. Spent the bar. Has a level three. That should be the kill. Angry Bird is moving into our grand finals. Winners side over Punk. That was optimal. For that much life, you ended with the EX, excuse me, OD. Oh, pardon me. The OD medium kick gin ride is what leads into that combo. Very nice, very efficient. I like that. Punk is not even beating himself up. That was a great match. This is a hard opponent to deal with. Angry Bird, definitely one of the best players in the business. Not even mad at that, man. Grand Finals, what an opportunity for Angry Bird. I kind of like it, right? Like a tree by the five, Big Bird, Grand Finals. Now we got Angry Bird in Grand Finals. That's pretty that cool. That's true, yeah. Big Bird was in that Grand Finals up against Bonchan. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a wild one. That The eagle spike heard around the world. Oh, man, some good old-fashioned street fighter, man. Yeah, it's been good so far. And Angry Bird, I have to say, the, one, the thing I love about him is he's willing to do driver jab, driver jab, check you, and then Punk's sitting there like, I'm going to check it when he does it, right? He's waiting, and then he just lets the Dragon Lash whiff, or he just starts walking up, checking with buttons and other stuff like that. He does a really good job of rotating all of his really strong options and just being like, are you ready for all this? Can you handle option A, B, C, D, et cetera, all of this at the same time? And Punk normally is someone who can. But, you know, against some of the best in the world, it's very difficult. But yeah, one thing that was, uh, you know, I was thinking about a lot about the set was the uses of Drive Rush from Angry Bird. Yeah. And he always clipped Punk trying to, uh, he always clipped Punk with a standing jab, right? But I think yeah. it was more so because Punk tried to check the dashes all the time. Yeah. So he, like, hit the brakes from that range. You know what I mean? Obviously, the jab comes out faster than the low forward, right? So, oh, he probably cracked the jab. But either way, I feel like he used that for the sense of just to, to uh, to snipe out his uh, check attempt on the drive rush. Yeah, because most people are doing like drive rush into a medium or a heavy, right? And it's so much slower. So the timing to do the early jab is a really smart choice, as you mentioned right there. He played that really well. And again, you saw how Punk has looked against everybody else so far. So that set was a nail biter. Close one, 3 2. And that sets up Punk down there in Losers Finals playing the winner of Mena and Tokido. Those are the three right there that I think a lot of people talk about as being, you know, the best in the last game's era. And all three of them have to fight each other to see who gets the chance against Angry Bird in Grand Finals. Yeah, it's a bit of leader, leaders of the new school featuring Tokido. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. You look at this, uh, this top four, you know, and I'm pretty sure he just has nothing but smiles on his face. But right now, this match is a bit of a lore match here. Of course, how uh, you mentioned the 2017 Capcom Cup Championship. Right. Mena versus Tokido. Mena, of course, took that. But... I could only imagine that Tokido's just thinking about that every single day. Now, let me not say that, but, you know, it means something here. They're about to uh, play each other again in a new game, Fresh Street Fighter, right? So let's, let's uh, etch our history in the books. And you mentioned, you know, the difference in experience, right? Like Mena first Evo, obviously, way back in 2017. Six Evos since then, and then 19 for Tokido. He's been to so many. Oh, my. Yo, somebody give me a picture of that. I'm putting that on my wall. I want the the, uh, the Ryu Akuma yep. stare down. I want that. I want a drawing of that right now. You These two. 
Luke in the middle like this. Yeah, Luke, Luke throwing it up in the middle. Alex Lee, the voice actor for Luke, messaged me and said, tell Evo, I said, beast mode, baby. So I was like, all right, I can do that. You know, <laughs> yeah, I got to go watch that footage again, man. But that's not that, that's the bad. But look, um, just to touch up a little bit on the history with these two, besides Capcom Cup, in terms of coming together as one to learn how to play fighting games, this is a prime example of that. I'm talking about, man, I was like, hey, man, I want to come to Japan. What's up? Takedo's like, you're more than welcome. Pull up. And they just chilling and playing video games and just enjo uh, enjoying each other's presence, you know? Yeah. Learning of each other's, uh, you know, cultures. Exactly. Which is pretty cool. I was going to say, that's the cool thing. The reason they can do that fun stare down is that these two are competitors, but they're also friends. Like, really friends. Mena goes out to Japan and is like, yo, Tokido, what up? I'm trying to play everybody. I'm trying to eat good food. I'm trying to hang out. And he'll go out there and stay. And Tokido and all these people, they host him, right? So he is somebody who, you know, they had that match in 2017. And, you know, it's easy, as you say, to be like rivals and be like, yeah, I gotta beat that guy. But Mena's like, dude, I'm gonna come to Japan. I'm trying to train. I wanna play everybody. No sandbagging, no like dodging. And I'm trying to play everybody and be as good as I can. So this is what I, I think of these two. They are like model professionals, right? Yes. They, they are people who want to be the absolute best. They're not trying to do it like in a shortcut way. They're like, I'm gonna play and train with everybody in the world to be as good as I can be. And that builds a friendship between them. Yeah, man. Perfectly well said, brother. Well said. It's deeper than rats. I promise you. Yeah. Oh, the Blanca? The Luke? The Blanca? He's thinking about which one he wants to play here. The crowd cheering for that Blanca. He's doing it for the people. Men of RD said, I'm rocking. Like, are you sure? He said, are you sure? You saw how he locked it. He like hit it. Oh, he said, mm. Let's go, Blanca. Let's hit it with the Oh, I can't do that voice. Oh, so you can do it. It's over. You know, I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. Yeah. You saw how Blanca was looking at Ken, like, did you hear the people? Yeah, he said, what's that all about? Yeah. Yo, oh, this is lore at its finest. Stop. Blanca in loser semis of Evo, by the way. Character that won CEO for Mena. Obviously, he played a lot of Luke as well. Because Blanca is so good. Yeah, forward heavy punch. Rawr. That button is very good. Hard to punish when it's spaced out like that. Mmm, we've seen the gaps. Yes, that frame trap to get exposed by reversals. Nice. Electricity activates, and a throw is perfect. Parry is a very common response there because Blanca players will hop through, try to get left, right. Yeah. Mm. You know, block stun. I love. Right, so that's what separates a lot of Blancas, right? When you do a heavy Blanca ball from beyond sweet range, yeah. those are the hardest ones to react to, right? Oh yeah. Wow. I the perfect parry. Nice. I like the beat there. Mena taking the scoop and the slide for Oki. Try rush overhead, and that'll be a pick up there. Very nicely done on that first round. Yo, that overhead looked like it's a thousand frames. It looked like he goes, ah! mm -hmm. And it catches everybody. Bottom break. Oh, I man. like it, I like it. The spacing for Mena and neutral has been really good so far. Karachi medium punch, a great poke. Cancelable, you can get drive rush combos off of it. Ooh, level two, I like. He's gonna parry here. Oh, we installed it now. Nice, up back ball, and you can extend. Ooh, he parries, wow, he was just read there from Mena. Set up, and he makes it, that does activate it. He gets double rolling here. He gets triple rolling here, excuse me. That'll be 399. That'll be 399. Cross up, stays in the front, goes low, and Mena with game one here. <laughs> For that Blanca Chan, that'll be 399, please. Do you need a bag? <laughs> You gonna get that to go? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bit familiar. Huh? Looks like they played a lot of sets on the low. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet these two have played already for sure. Whoa, and you get a combo? Yep. I'm loving the spacing he's doing it, too. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to deal with. Doesn't take the slide. I don't think he wanted to spend the drive gauge, though. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Oh, he tried sweep a little too late. Mm, yep, get the better Oki. Oh, boy. That's big damage. Anything that's a fierce starter from Ken, especially on punish count, it's gonna hurt. You are going to pay dividends. Oh, oh, drop it. Big one now. Not a lot of drive gain. Less the drive impact rip. DB. It's enough. Nicely done. Tokido, a little scrambly there, but I kind of like that he was thriving in the scramble. Yep. But you gotta do against Blanca sometimes. Yep. But I, again, Tokido's just trying to figure out a way to smother uh, Menace Blanca. That way, just, just, he just won't have no space for nothing. The only thing I feel like he's gonna have to look forward uh, for is when. Uh, when he tests throw loop, and then he just want to jump back and do a rainbow ball. Yeah. Yeah, the air ball is cheap. Air ball is cheap. so me. strong, yeah. Plus on block. It activates Blanca dolls when you're in level two, which is really strong, too. Oh, the jab fireballs. Those are the classics. Yeah, he tried to slide under right there, and he was just a little late, so Tokido gets the pick up to the corner. Mm. Ooh, deep in the front. Man, maybe trying to walk under or something. Negative three, but it's all right. Take your turn back. We activate. We install. 
Mad plus on this, yeah. Just does the medium kick after activate in the middle of the screen. Maybe parry into electricity. No, it doesn't go for it yet. That stays on screen for a long time, so he doesn't feel pressured yet. Mm. Giant fire blows is a classic. Recover fast enough. You could probably follow it a little bit, you know? Get some pressure going. Nicely done. Little three-piece right into the CA. Level three there, rather, for Tokido. Ties it up a game of peace. Now, I wonder if Mena sticks it out here. Uh, I think I'll switch. You that would so? be me. Yeah, we'll think about it here. Okay. Yeah, that's me. That's right. I'm kind of with you. I do, I do wonder if that's the plan here. I'm curious. What a handsome fellow. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Damn right. All right, we're going to think about it. Oh, we got the notes. I appreciate that. Look at that. That's a professional. I don't blame you. Tokido respects it. Yeah, and he's locked right back in. Oh! Whoa! From the Raptors, top of the Mandalay Bay. Where? No, Ooh. my boy's no punish either. Oh, and wow, he got the side swap and then throw after anyway. Hop. You're, yeah, you're plus after the hop anyway. You could do light kick, you do throw. Mm. Ooh, a little too far. That back medium kick can whip on crouchers from farther away. Nice buffer. Yeah. I like the shimmy attack from Mena, though. That's what he was looking for was a crouching jab, not even a throw. Oh, Ooh, wow. Oh, my God. Mmm. Nice. The level one for the pickup on that. Good to know that the damage might not have been enough on something else. You just spend even up. if it was, just spend it. Yeah. yeah. Cash out. Ooh, trying to get that perfect parry. You can't drive rush after that and get a good, uh, a solid punish. Yeah. And most important thing is to take the corner carry. Nicely done. So Kido finds that little whiff. Category five. Oh, good read into the gym right. That was optimal. Yo, clip that. Oh, clip that now. Man. He's got. A, if you got a plan for that, you're ready for Blanca. I, yeah, I, I like. I like. It. Into yeah, the meeting. I'm. It is stolen. It is stolen, CJ. Oh my God. He definitely showed up prepared. Nice. I like that. It's only slightly negative, so it's not a bad idea. Let's it rip. He gets a setup off this with the doll. Yo, I don't care who wins. Yo, listen, mothership. I need that highlight. Nicely done. Well defended there from Tokido. The overhead was blocked. He's ready for the setup. That crouching heavy. But you see the way he shook off his hands? Yo. He knows he did something nasty. He's like, damn, I'm good. He's at the door. He's in the zone. They're both in the zone. Ooh. Nice neutral jump. Punish on the throw with. Oh, OK. We just flipping tables. Oh. Hawk back jump. Heavy kick for the ant uh, here. Beautiful with the cuticles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he saw it. Ooh, no anti here that time, though. Tokido gets away with it and lets the overhead rip. Wow, I like the jump forward from Mena. Activate. Your drive rush combo with the uh, heavy punch here. Yep. Split the table. Oh. Set up the doll. Yeah, cross up. Oh, he let it rip. That is a lot of damage and a lot of drive game damage on this, too. <laughs> That's going to hurt. Ow. Walk up standing roundhouse. No, not even. We're trying to check it. You know what? Smart move from Mena. Good reactions. Now he's a little healthy in the drive gate. Got to be careful. His level one goes full screen here while he's in install. So Tokido, if he throws another fireball, he's, gonna, yeah, he's trying to bait it. The super. Oh, my God. That's that would have been it. That would have been it. Yes, yes. <laughs> OK. Not a factor anymore. Mm, get the plus frame regardless. I respect that. You do it. I do it, too. We got to check out. We got to check out here. Spend the cash. An eye for an eye. And also good good knowledge there from Tokido. When Blanca is in level two install, his level one super goes full screen. So you have to know that you can't just throw fireballs from free like that. Mm. Yeah, you see how he's like sitting behind? Oh, yeah. I like it. That purple vision. I like it. He wants to see. I feel like we're going to get one perfect parry on the block of ball. We'll see. That is hard to deal with regardless. Man, Tokido is not held in the drive gauge, but he gets some offensive pressure here, so it's OK. Uh, I'm trying to jump there, probably. Maybe up back ball. 100%. Probably, same thing again. Out of the corner. And Tokido's drive gauge is taking a beating, by the way. It is It is in trouble. He's trying to jump back, trying to avoid some, any kind of pressure. And here gets stuffed with one of the few jump ins that beats that. What a challenge. Oh, we've seen the gaps in the gin ride. You can OD in between that. Nice. Activates. And a little uh, Blanca Chen went the wrong way. Level one, not enough for burnout, but a fireball will do it. So Mena's got to jump. Wow, lovely air ball. I thought he said that I was going to do like a run DP, but gets hit anyway. Good stuff, Tokido. We're going to challenge, all right. Oh, yeah. And that ball, if you do jump heavy ball, there's a lot of recovery on that, too. I just caught it, though. Yeah, the handshake off. Yeah, Tokido's feeling it up there. Rainbow lands. Nice punish on that. Good spacing from Tokido. Oh, missed it. There's the buffer. Does he side swap on this? Yeah. Just wants to take the, the corner. I like that choice. Mm -hmm. Oh, sight. You're not taking my turn. Ooh, a little whip on that. Drive rush. Yes. Plus frame. Trying to clip him walking back. Good defense here from Mena. Great defense. That's confirmed. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 
Very nice. That Tokido checks the dash, though. He's ready for it. Oh, shaking him. Shaking his behind. Good read on the throw attempt there. Jump back ball. And just waiting for that drive gauge to come back. Now he can drive rush and he's not going to be in burnout. Ooh, finds a punish counter. Not enough, though. So, Kido, you know Dragon Lash or Drive Rush is on the mind for sure. Ooh, I thought he was going to low forward that. Uh-huh, scary range. Ooh, standing medium punch. Check him. Oh, cashed out. Doesn't have the level three, but you got to watch your legs. Tokido's looking for the confirm on the low forward level two. I promise you that. Yeah, not only that, but chip is a big factor here for Tokido. I think H-Bomb might be close to chipping. Oh, he activates. Oh, Waka Jan's gone. Oh! To punish. Oh! oh! And no. Man, a little drop there from Tokido. That ball was very punishable. Light and medium ball are so punishable, but sometimes you forget because heavy ball safe. That's right, man. It's a visual cue, right, man? Yeah. That's tough. Man, you can tell by the noise, too, which is another big factor. Wow! <gasps> you can do that? I did not know that. I didn't either. Mena, great knowledge. He can drive rush and extend here. No, chooses to go for the up ball. Yeah, he's low on drive gauge. I like that. Perry, and he doesn't do the second follow-up to beat that. That's very smart. Good bait. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I love this Ken Protein. Give me more, please. Yeah, you want more? Here you go. Mm, look at that. From stomach to chin. That's crazy. All the way up to big one. Tokido needed to get out of there. Out of meter. Oh, finds it. Not a combo, though. A lot of drive gauge down. I think he tried to beat the parry right there. Minna with a little bit of install left, but not much. A little respect to on the OD as well. Look like he tried to react to the DP. That's pretty. It's hard when it's that close. Yeah, ooh. Guarding that doll. It doesn't go away until the screen. It takes a while, or it's on the screen, off the screen. Oh my god. Maybe try to jump there. Keeping the pressure tight. I like it from Tokido. Another Dragon Lash. Mm. Ooh, looks low, gets the hit. Has level one here. Oh. For the, the Jinrai whips. He gets the throw to a piece. Mm, you see that little on. smile on Tokido's face? Yeah. He's ready. You can hear the plastic when he's drinking the water. The crush, the crush, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was good. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Back the character select there for Mena. Peeping the phone, thinking about it here. He obviously has another character, but do you want to go to it on game five here? Elimination point in top four of Evo. This guy's serious. So Hido is a god amongst men. Same thing for Men RD. It's his top level class, Street Fighter 6. Evo! Oh no, you know, let me not interrupt, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's keep the floor of the show going. I had to shut the hell up. You know what? I'll wait after the match. They love their yes. Yeah. yeah, they love it. Thanks for not skipping the intro, everybody in top six. Here we go. Last match between these two. Former Capcom Cup finals. Evo champ, Capcom Cup champ. A lot of accolades between these two. Nice bait there from Tokido. And this is when the, mom the momentum wheel starts right here. The snowball. Oh, was it ready? Let it rip. Yeah, had to see. It's getting late. And he does it again. I like it from Mena Rainbow all the way out of there. Wow, just to shave off the drive gauge. I respect that here from Tokido. What wow. a challenge and a punish. Good awareness there from Mena. He knew, and he was ready for the slide, but a little late on that. It's hard at that range. Oh. Come back. Nicely done. Doesn't cancel on a ball, but Mena doing a good job fighting in this burnout. He's almost out. And the jump forward. Tokido not ready. He DPs and it kills. It was enough on the throw. The pressure's on here from NRD. One more game and he goes to the spectator seat. We'll have to see here. No stop, and yeah, the jump back immediately. Just has to see. Regular throw. He is not afraid of the reversals, even though Tokido's done it a lot. Yeah, nice. that's true, exactly. Your mind says Blanca. Wow. Mm. Those poke, those, the poke plasma. Nice stop on the dash there. He hasn't checked the drive rush much, but definitely been pretty good on that stuff. Oh, he's gonna land. Yeah, he's got the punish. Nice. It was like a smidgen. Plus, yeah, Tokido doesn't try to challenge after. Oh, far enough on the anti-air, but goes for the standard percent. I respect that. We've seen the Swiss cheese. And now Tokido and Burnout. Chip's a big problem for him here, too. Heavy ball is going to hurt. But you know, Menas, he's a little cautious here, right? He doesn't want to overcommit on the offense. And the big thing in this range is whether Tokido will jump forward or not, too. And he is not going to overextend. Mm, it's the sneaky fireballs, okay. Yeah, and he's got his drive gauge back now. Meno was really passive during that. He didn't want to overcommit. Oh, oh it's the punish. Oh. Could have been a drive rush too. It was a punish counter. Come back. Meno is playing so cautious. He really doesn't want to overextend, but that's giving Tokido a little bit of room here. Chances. Yeah. To think about it, right? 
at the CA. He's from California, bro. And he gets the throw. It's enough to kill just like that. Final game, final round between these two. Oh my god. Look at look at the space. Look at the respect. No anti-air, but the jump is whip, so that's okay. Now we mount offense. Let's install, please. Oh, he goes down. He's trying to beat the, the parry. Fokito does not let it rip. No parry, no super, none of that. <sighs> the respect shown on the low forward is why that drag lash is lasting so is, is landing so much on block. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and he ah, interesting. He was trying to catch a button or something like that. Mena doesn't let it rip. Mena's install almost out. This level two almost completely gone with no offense from it. Man. It's on. Welcome him down, though. Yeah, he gained a lot of space, although the heavy ball whipping is a big deal there. Tokido, all his drive gauge back, and he has full resources. This is going to be tough. All right, he's getting a little too comfortable here with these fireballs, but I know Mena doesn't want to take the risk and go for the slide. Oh, there's the knockdown. We close. The perfect parry. A solid damage. I love it. You get a nice little Oki with the standing fist. Good reaction. Ready this time, but Tokido's going to press me into the drive gauge. He tried to do the slide. I like the idea. It doesn't work. And that's oh, my God. Come on. Oh, he does the up ball there. He's got level one also. Both in burnout here. Tried to bait it. Didn't buy it. He blocks. Oh my god. Electricity whip. Oh my god. He could just do that into super. Oh my god. No. He could have done a level two, a three there. I don't think it would have reached though. It's a little afraid. Oh my god. He's got another two for the install. Two in one round. Uh oh. Plus frame. Oh! The awareness for that combo. Listen, man. Round of applause. I don't even got to say the names. You know who's on the stage right now. Round of applause. Amazing match. Oh, my God. Yo, everything like, all right, everything worked out. Overheads landed, but it was out of range. There was just a lot of situations where you just couldn't get the full punish. And that just created so many cinematics, <laughs> cinematics for me. Yeah, I mean, that match is out of control. That was one of the best matches I've seen in any game ever. That was so close. And you know now he's got a chance against Punk. Can we all, everybody here in Mandalay Bay, can you all make some noise for the EVO champion, one of the greatest competitors to ever do it, Tokido! That is a fact. Go look at the Wikipedias, my friend. That is a great W. But you know what makes this win even sweeter? Not even that it was Tokido. He did it for the people. The yeah. people, he talked to the people and said, hey, man, who y'all want? Blanca? You sure? You really sure? Mm -hmm. He did that for the crowd here. The crowd cheered for Blanca. He picked Blanca. And that's why he got the W there. Very impressive, man. Man, his situational awareness on Luke earlier was so impressive, right? But the situational awareness there on Blanca was unreal. Having the up ball there to the uh, double extension was ridiculous. And then little things like the jab and the slide, he just has these great moments where you're like, how does he know everything yeah. in every scenario and what to do, you know? Yeah, the situa situational awareness, man. These guys is at the highest of levels. And this guy is chilling. Yo, man, how you doing, baby? My man, thumbs up. Thumbs up, he's feeling good. Sky, bro. Good luck down there, champ. He plays, by the way, with no headphones in this arena. So the crowd, like he really feels it, which is one of those things that I love. But uh, yeah, here's some of the highlights from the match. My heart can't take any more of these. That was a good one, I got to say. Just this nail biter here. Yo, now, OK, let me let me look at this real quick. So if he blocks a fireball, I just want to know, just for uh, reference. Then I could, I could probably snipe out why he had so much bar for the uh, for the insult. I just oh, yeah, he it. built he had level two and then he had level two again. Man, I cannot believe he recognized he had the level two here. I love that Tokido recognized it. I, I don't know if the CA would have reached if he hit that Jinrai. Yeah, and then right here, just that, yeah, it does not usually lose to drive uh, impact there like that. Man, getting the three piece on the Blanca ball there, the awareness was so. So good. It's one of those things is when you bounce like that with the ball, normally drive impact whiffs, but you can also, when you have the insult, just do the extension and go mm -hmm. over, right? So you can just beat it like that. Really smart for Mena right there. And uh, impressive to switch between two characters at a high level like this in top six of an event. Really hard to do. He's up against Punk next, which these two have played each other many times, obviously. Two incredible players. People, you know, everybody knows that these are two of the best players in the last game. And I'm sure two of the best players in this game's lifespan, for sure, right? I mean, looking very impressive here. So. To my understanding, this will be our final break before we close out Evolution 2023. Stay tuned, get some drinks, get some snacks. We'll catch you guys right after this. We started with 7,000. Now we're officially at the top three. It was a long weekend, but it was a beautiful, a beautiful one at that. 
Somebody's about to be crowned champion. Our very first Street Fighter Six champion. Please make some noise on last time, guys, for all of our competitors that was involved. All 7,000 of y'all. Yeah, everybody, whether you were one of the 7,000 who played in pools on Friday or everybody competing here in the top three, we appreciate you answering and supporting EVO every single year. The great thing about this event is that any of you can enter and be up here on this stage, right? One of the best things about all fighting game tournaments that you can enter like this. We'd love to see it. Of course, if you missed anything so far, whoa. This is so cool. What, what is, Was this, like, handed out? What's going on Are here? It's just, like, the phone camera, like, flashlights. Whoa. Yo, somebody take a picture of this and send it to me ASAP. I need this. I'm, I'm going to have, like, so many portraits. It's crazy. Damn, the Evo chat. They just did this, I think. This is really looking like concert level. Unreal. I, thanks, everybody. Wow. This is beautiful. Wow. You know, there's a lot of songs I can sing, but, you know, DMCA and all that. Man. This is the best crowd in the world. And catch me in karaoke with all these lights. Sheesh. That's what I'm saying. It's a beautiful thing, this uh, Evo. Thanks to everybody who's a fighting game fan and attended the event. We truly appreciate you. Here's our bracket, of course. Losers Finals. Two of NA's finest, of course, as we have our last Japanese competitor out of the tournament in Tokido with fourth place. Of course, Punk and Men are going to be throwing down, and man, I cannot wait to watch this match. Well, one thing, one thing that uh, this tournament proves, without struggle, there is no progress. What I mean by that is, all of these players that you see here has been consistently practicing and grinding, and some of these names is what, who you see in the tournament results on the offline and the online side of things. Yeah, and all these players, it's great to see them up here too because all of them have had big big Ws, right? Especially Punk and Mena in their big moments, but it's cool to see Angry Bird up here as well. All of them have been grinding, training super hard, and uh, they're all awesome players to watch. I encourage you to check them out after this event as well. All of them stream, they produce stuff, check out content, all that kind of stuff. So. Our two players here, both of them, their first years at EVO in 2017. Mm. Both of them, of course, as you can see there, in the six and seven EVOs each. Dominican Republic, US. They play in your tournament a lot. Can yep. opener, I see them there all the time. ICFC, other NA events, TNS, all that kind of stuff. The DR's finest and the best from the US, Punk versus Mana. Two very young, very strong competitors. And I think obviously gonna have a very bright future in Street Fighter. Just period, there's some great human beings, man. Mm. The fact that we got Punk, who's returning back into the top eight, right? And yeah, then you got so Mena, who's so first time, oh, excuse me, top eight, ugh, returning from the past top eight now to the top six. Yeah. Then you got Mena, first time in the top six, right? Which is so weird. Imagine being a two-time Capcom Cup champion and never making top eight at EVO. Pretty wild, right? Pretty wild. Yeah. This is going to look so cool in the resume, man. Punk said, my bad for skipping it. My bad. Man of the people. Here we go, our match between these two. Blanca the pick, and I'm not surprised. This is a good matchup, I think, to pick Blanca in compared to Luke, right? Cami has great anti-fireball tools, and Blanca, I think, very well equipped to deal with Cami's jumps. He has uh, the anti-throw move with jump back air ball, really yes. good in this matchup. Kind of stifles her offense a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, very, sure. very good. Jump back ball, just like that, right? Very tough for her to deal with. <laughs> Privileged OD. And we saw these two playing in CEO, obviously, where Mena got the better of Punk there. That's a back. Oh. Nice. Double extension. Scoop. And a level one to kill. Oh, he wanted to save the bar. Nicely spotted that jump back medium. Very clean there from Mena. Sort of slash animation. Looks so cool. Yeah, the three spikes. Yeah. Makes that well. That forward heavy punch. That move is pesky, by the way. It's tough to deal with. Got kicked back on block, too. Yeah. I don't know if you up, up close, it does up close to punish. But from that range, is really good. Yeah, they space it out. It's hard to jump it, too. Nice. There's the sweet punish. And calls out the parry. I like that for Punk. Good, good reads back to back. Yep, the two piece right there. No one home. Wow, okay, we spacing it out. The back and forth movement. These are pad players, by the way, so the left and rights look a little smoother. Oh, yeah. And I love the adjustment. Mena was like, oh, I'll just do it from further away. And then Punk just whip punishes it. Oh, oh nice. Push it. He's got jump back again. Let's it rip. He gets a doll off this. He's also got level two. All right, we activate the Blanca Chan. Oh, but just left off screen. What's up, homie? You ain't want to join me? And that's enough level one for the kill. So, Mena with a little meter lead, but yeah, little fella didn't do much to help out right there. It's definitely going to set this tone for somebody here, whoever wins this first match. But it's like, again, they're so good. It's like anything could happen, and they could both hold that position on the momentum. Oh, yeah. All lands. I like the throw attempt from Mena there. Backs off, lets the drive gauge come back a little bit. Great challenge and a punish counter for uh, confirmed for Punk. Mm. Oh, I like that. Right in between those strings, we've seen the Swiss cheese. 
Wow, activates the doll. Punk just blocks it out, says, all right, no mix up here. Fall back, good. Mena's very content to stay back here. Well, we're close to the corner, though, so I'm pretty sure Mena just recognized that. Oh, yeah. And you know Mena's looking to activate that level two. Never mind, confirm level three off the light kick. It's gonna be close to burnout. If not, I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Oh, no. Not enough. Barely. That'll do it, though. Plus frames, lots of plus frames on that. And Chip's gonna be a big problem here for Punk 2. He lets it rip. I think that's all Buttony did. That's the jab. So this is gonna get a lot of the drive gauge uh, timer back for Punk on the burnout. Not quite enough, but a lot of damage. Okay, Punk is waiting for Sun to react, but you know. Oh, what a way to out to the jump and to punish the stand roundhouse. That was so clean for Punk. And we are healthy again. The drive gauge, and he has the lead. And I'm just whiffing, trying to bait something there. Oh, jump back. Is it a shallow ball? No. D ball. Dead. For now, he lets it rip. It's not going to break through. The surprise jump, uh, drive it back, then it just didn't make it all the way. Yo, Punk's funny. The smile knew, on his face. He knew it was going to work. <laughs> oh, trying to react. That's why he got hit 100%. Oh, yeah. If you're not a modern gamer, yeah, you got a buffer and input, and he was ready that time. I feel, like a loop, I feel like a loop pick would be after this. That, that is, of course, if Mena goes down 3-0. I mean, so 2-0, excuse me. Oh. And I use that for the tick throw. Good choice. Has the plus friends off that. Jump back ball. I like it. The medium punch first. And so mm, The punish. We was calling that earlier. We didn't see it, but Punk is representing that punish on a Blanca ball. Like it, like it, nothing. Waiting to see if Punk was going to parry or try something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see who's gonna press buttons first. Nice check. We knew it was the fake out. Good stuff. We got cash to spend. Are we gonna spend it? Yes, we are. Is it gonna kill? No. Oh, and he beats the throw. Man, this offense from Punk has looked so clean so far. He's making really good choices, and he's not getting baited by the ball and stuff. We block it and we punish it. Yes. The Hurricane Rana. Right, we got a nice little lead here. Drive gate's pretty healthy. That's a DP next time, I promise you. Oh, yeah. That's why Mena's been trying to bait with Shallow Ball and stuff. Yeah, just like that, and immediately Punk's ready for everything. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Yeah, we got it all figured out. <laughs> Ooh, dashed up into the Blanca Ball. Hold this, he's on the house, 399. No reaction there on the spin knuckle, it's okay. Mm, that Punk trying to, he's challenging, he doesn't want him to get it. Nice! The heavy kick was early to try to beat the dive kick. Punk goes for a regular jump. Facts. Trying to, trying to snipe him, walking back with that crouch at Roundhouse. Good defense here for Punk the guard. Oh my god, no way! Oh, I thought that was a level 3. Oh yeah, level 2, he activated. Still pretty good though, he got the punish anyway. Oh, the doll's coming. It's on the way. Is there a jump from Punk? Oh, doesn't. I like the non-extension there. Install almost out. Punk just has to wait a few more seconds, and now it's gone! Oh, not a combo, and that's gonna be a punk! He could've punched way bigger, but he wasn't ready. At least he can't leave nothing out on the table. Oh! my god, that was so sneaky from Punk. Silent, too, because he didn't really see it throughout the whole set, for real. Yeah, and that's 2-0 real quick. I have to imagine we'll see character select, maybe not even for the change, but just for some time, right? Think about it. Are we going to pick uh, my man Zach Morris, a.k.a. Luke? Zach Morris. Lucas? Lucas. Lucas. All right, but I mean, at the end of the day, I, Punk's confidence is through the roof, so it doesn't even matter what character uh, Mena picks. Right. It's all about being comfortable. How are we going to grind this out? You don't have that many games. Absolutely not. Two down already. Close ones, but Punk was way more comfortable in this match than the last time, and he sticks it out. Yeah. You want to talk about rivalries? This is a rivalry, man. Punk has visited the island of Dominican Republic. For sure. Ooh, oh, that was cheeky. Yeah, that's a tough one to see. That's why Perry's so good in that scenario, too. Oh, oh. that's not going to work out. Yeah, you could have landed and sweep there, but it's hard to always know the right spacing. Yeah. Uh-oh, we in the corner. Throw, throw Loop City? No, not even. Okay, nice throw. Big damage. Yeah, tick Spike. throw. We'll trade, and yeah, Blanca's anti are real solid. Nice bait. Has to kill just like that. Mena confidently walked up and just blocked that. We take those. Yeah, one of the few rounds where Punk hasn't looked as comfortable. And I think it's the Rainbow Ball maybe throwing things off here. Yeah. Trying some new ideas, trying to make Punk a little bit more uncomfortable in the neutral. All right, so one thing you already noticed, the faint uh, light punch balls is not being uh, represented here no, uh, uh, anymore. Punk has checked those. Yeah, I think it's a smart choice. Oh, Rainbow out of there. You hear that? Nice! Man, his reactions are so snappy. 
That was so good. Yeah, that move is that move cheap. That's a good move right there. Mm. In oh, no. This is so plus. And you can just let the drive impact rip, so Monkey Nui's buffering that super. No. Nice hiccup. He sets a doll. Chooses not to. Rainbow steals the corner. Punk just gotta block it out. He's about to be out of burnout, but there's the tick throw. There it is. Okay, on the hop. All right, caught Punk clinching there a little bit. Mmm, good reactions. We was ready for that one. You want to invite them in sometimes, right? So they can burn out the drive gauge, and plus it gives you a chance to get that punish. Yeah, and every time someone drive rushes like that, you just do your reversal, and if it's a true block string, nothing comes out. If it's not tight, you get the reversal. So. Layers. Yeah. It's deeper than rap. Oh, combo. Flip the tables. Ooh. Oh! Trying to make the DP right there. I like it. Mm. Oh, man. That's just a street by the bottom tower. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, right? This is starting to look a little dangerous. Mena here just picking up that speed. Now, if I'm Angry Bird, who do you run the fight? Uh, comfortable with Punk, sure. Mena? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? That's that's the interesting one right there for sure. I think he'd probably rather fight Punk after that first set. Oh, he was a little late, almost got the punish, but still had to check. Ah, plus frames, gotta love it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, the igloo buttons at play here. We are trying to shave off that drive gauge early on. What an empty jump. Punk spacing on that was beautiful. Caught him jumping, but didn't get the completion. Oh, and that should have been a bigger punish, but Punk is not ready. It's always so hard to be ready. Mm, got him where he wants it. They both burnt out, though, but I agree with that from Punk. Yeah, this is a really rough spot if you're Mena here. Burnt out in the corner, chips problem. Wow, just a regular ball. Big bait. Not enough just yet. He needs one more good hit. Mm. No, that's huge. He's got TA on deck. I think this is really close. Might not be enough. Call it now. We might have a clip. That survey says. Not enough. And still burnout timer for Punk. Ooh, you got to be careful. Heavy ball. <gasps> the fake out. I like it. I like it. Oh, One low forward in a dream here for Punk. We have all the cash necessary to finish the job. Mena is very aware of this. That's why he's just walking away. He's not even jealous. But what a catch. That was all reactions. That was part of the blueprint. Wow. Two, two. Just like that. I love that adjustment. That reaction is so smart. It's so hard to beat that. What are you going to drive rush? Do nothing and then DP? Like, no one's going to be ready for that. Yeah, and from that range, that is like the best button to pick from Punk, right from Cammy. It yeah. is the low forward. Absolutely. Really smart for both of them. Yep. Damn, we got ourselves a final round here. Our final game here, rather. Nice fade, and I like the attempt from Punk, but so clean from Mena. That's still advanced. Crazy, boy. Uh. Okay, looking for that counter. He's standing around. So you saw that. He's anticipating the standing fierce or the jab. Oh, yeah. Ooh, jump back there, looking to try to beat that. I like Punk sneaking that in. Yeah, I think he's trying to call out the up ball, and he just does it anyway. Good tool to use, though. We got a new weapon. Yeah. New idea. I like that. Ooh, perfect. Right, right. Thank you. Proper punish and the corner carry. He's going to wake up with it again. No. Wake up parry. Mm, and the interrupt there on the spin knuckle. Bates the parry. No throw from Mena, but nice, healthy lead. Yep. Oh, no. Trying to jump out. Maybe a block of ball. Jump back up ball. Mm. Throw. We're getting conditioned here. We see the dandruff. We oh, see the dandruff. I like that he didn't jump right there, but he doesn't react. And meter available. Punk just rips the level one. It's enough to kill. Set point now for Punk. It's me. Aha. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That was a good punish. How are you so aware? You knew? Yeah, I know, right? Reach on the rainbow, and this time he lets it rip. I like that. Punk been trying to keep it tight so he can't get out of there. Mm. All right, we at that range. Puck knows, got the slight lead, but anything can happen. It can snowball with just one knockdown, one throw. Yeah, this is definitely an install round for Mena, trying to make some offense happen. There's the parry. He calls it out this time. Yeah, nice fake out. 2,000 damage. Thank you very much. Listen, Puck does have the option to uh, hold the parry on the second part of the loop yeah, and go for the drive reversal. You could sneak it in. You just got to yeah. be a little sneaky with it, but we'll see. Almost burnout. That is burnout. He puts himself in burnout now. Jump in. No ants here. Again, no cross cut or anything. Punk just blocking it out. I think willing to wait it out and burn out. Oh, the bait. Double drive rush extension. I don't think it's pretty close. Oh, level two. Interesting to try to get the extension here. Got the chip out. Are you going to CA or are you going to save it for the next round? We're going to save it for the next round. That is, of course, you can close out. Is that going to hit? No. Block it, John. Hold me down. Mini Faust would never. Final would never. game. <laughs> Final round between these two. Not a drive, anyway. Oh, he lands inside. Uh -huh. 
And the drive rush extension, one bar on that. And he's got the scoop doll set up. Mm. Here's oh, my power. Oh, oh. Scoop. Mm. And he gets another set up here, level one. That works. Yeah, big damage too. Ooh, and the jump back, he's so ready. Last guess for Funk on Evo here. He whips the throw. What a big chance. He gets the back throw. What an anti air in the neutral jump. There's the blocker ball. What are we going to do here? It's time to get that. that was so sneaky. He didn't even represent that throughout the whole set. That was so good from Mena RD. Beautiful set. Beautiful. The command grab on the last interaction of the set is so smart. Good call out on that from Mena and good call out on that from you. And you saw Punk's like you got me, bro. That was good. Really smart to bring that out. Command grab at the final moments. There's the cop up there like, damn, how are you so good, bro? How are you so damn good at this game, man? What's that all about? Yo. Man, that wins this, bro. I swear, dog. I'm, I think I'm a, I'm a blockable all for the stage. Man. Yeah, I believe you. I, nah, nah, I gotta stay on. I already know. Trust me, guys. Production, you're good. I ain't moving nowhere. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mena, the loser's bracket run, has two Capcom Cup champions. Chips, and now he's trying to get that first Evo W, first Evo Top 8, Grand Finals against Angry Birds. Friends, competitors, and hella good players here in our Grand Finals. You know what's obvious? I'm a little biased. I am Dominican, okay? It's true. So I will go for Mena RD just as a personal favorite. But I'm going to be honest with you, I am not mad at anybody that yeah. wins this. Right now, Angry Bird, Mena, whoever wins, I could be satisfied with this and go home and really think about this match. You get to watch either Ken win or the Dominican player. So you're, uh, you are you got a best case scenario. My man. The winner no matter what. And we all get to watch the good ass Street Fighter, so. That's it. That's it. These matches have been wild, dude. <laughs> They've been so, look at all the 3-2s, too. All these 3-2 sets have been so, so good so far. I didn't even know this, bro. Yo, but yeah, if, if you guys just tuned in, this is what happened. This is the massacre. There's blood all over the place. Everybody got shiners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's been brutal. It's been brutal throughout the whole day. But here we are from 7,000 plus players to the grand finale now with Angry Bird and Mena RD. This is crazy. Let's, let's take a look at the mixtapes. This set was wild. This could have just been Angry Bird and loses bracket earlier, right? 3 2 last. Man, feel bad for Cockadoo. He played two sets that are literally 3 2 last hit and he lost to two Kents, like Angry Bird and Tokido. And you gotta feel so bad, right? Like, he played so well in both of those, but yeah, this Angry Bird Punk obviously are our winner's finals here, and he looks great. I think his pace was really hard for Punk to slow down, generally how he plays, where on the opposite side, I don't think that's gonna be the case for Mena, right? He can he plays that kind of fast pace, too. He's really good at that. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I feel like he just, uh, he gets better when he plays the better opponent as right. well, like, like better, stronger competition, so. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Damn. And he played so well. Really impressive to see him here. Obviously, winner side. So the way this works is he has two sets to lose. If he loses the first set, Mena beats him. Then, you know, we reset the bracket. They're both losers now. They play one more set. So Mena's got a long road if he wants to get the job done. Got to win six in two different sets. And Angry Bird just has to win the one. That's going to be tough. Well, this is Mena RD. Man, I like how y'all start the mixtape with the intro. Credit to y'all. That was fire. That's one, one big thing I highlighted to just nullify the air legs. That was a great match. Again, they played a first and ten. It was 10-6 Men RD, so he was pretty confident going into this match for sure. And he went with the same matchup, so that just goes to show you. Men RD is just so good at just becoming the wall, right? The bull. That's literally what he does. He likes to bully you. It don't make sense for him to just be a little too passive when he knows he could just be the bully and get what he wants, right? It's all messed up, too, because watching his Luke there, you just forget that he played Luke earlier, and his Luke was the crispiest I've ever seen. Like, his Luke was unreal. I was watching it. I feel like I learned something new in every round he played, and then he switches to Blanco, and it's the same thing, right? Like, his, you know, his play is incredible. I mean, it's very, very impressive to watch. That command grab was so cheeky. I love that to close it out. And look at Punk. He's like, that was fire. Yo, yeah, Punk. Good. Yo, credit to Punk, man. Round of applause to Punk for the one time, man. For the fans out there, that was fine. You saw, you saw that manly hand. He said, mm, "That yeah, was good stuff, boy." That was <laughs> Punk is, yeah, he is man good. And when he loses to someone like that, he's like, "All right, you got me, bro. You played well. Like he can't even hate, right?" Five and six Evos a piece. Angry Bird, yeah, his best result before is both of them ninth place was at Evo. Wow. Yeah, which for those of you new, new, uh, new school kids, that's like seventh place this year. Maybe you don't know. It's top eight before, top six now. So a little different. And man, a sea of lights out there at EVO. Everybody waving along. We are wrapping up. This is our final set of the tournament. You've been here maybe since 10 a.m. Marvel, maybe all day. What a shot. Man, that is beautiful. You know what? When I have children, I'm going to show these grand finals. Dude, I want that framed on my wall. That's one of the, the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life out there. 
hard to imagine it all those years ago when I first watched fighting games for the first time that we'd be here seeing this in our grand finals of EVO. Yeah, yeah, scream, scream, it's the last match, y'all, go ahead. Yeah! Oh, we get intimate here, I like that. No, keep it just like this, I love it. Ooh, lights off, somebody else aging. <laughs> Step kick action, you know Lee Chung somewhere. He's like, oh, oh it's getting intimate there. Oh yeah, that's a mix. Represent. And back throw's perfect here, right? Gets rid of your drive gauge, and he lets it rip early. I love that. Really smart choice from Mena just to say, hey, are you ready? Base it. Yes. I'm roll. Ooh. I blocked the shot, getting money. Sets oh. up a new setup. Activates again, lower. Oh, he goes low. I like the parry, though, from Angry Bird. Mena is a bit weak on it. Oh, excuse me, I spoke a little too soon. It was going to happen regardless. That was a good punish. Get that burn out. It's going to be rough, but we're going to wake up with Super soon as I speak. Rainbow right out of there. Oh, punish. Wow, out of the air. He had a plan, but he's now in burnout too. So Chip, big problem here for Angry Bird as well. He lands on the fireball, chase down. Chip, is this enough? I think so. No, it's not. He had the right idea, but just had too much help. Yeah, that awareness from Angry Bird is incredible though. First, first opportunity to Chip, and he's just there. What a man, what a first round between these two. God damn, these guys are good. Th thank you. It's thank you. Oh, yeah. Twice? Just like Yeah, that option's there, but he wants to represent that drive parry, so now you're gonna see Angry Bird 100 percent throw born. Oh, a little early on the throw, still caught the light kick after him. Level two. Does he try to beat the parry? We'll see. No parry that time. A lot of drive gauge damage, by the way. Oh. Yes! And he gets the throw this time. The genius move, the walk-up neutral jump. Beautiful with the cuticle. And he gets the setup here, goes low, scoop, air to air. And that's the Blanca Chan. Empty jump low, but the parry nullifies. Mm, Stan Fish represent, but we out of there, though. Oh, goes for the legs this time. What a bait! Wasn't a punish counter, though, so it looked like he was just trying to jump out. Uh-oh, meter here. Mena does have the ability. Oh, he tried to bait it. Anger Bird, very smart on that. Mena has the level one. And he just lets the jab rip. I think he was a little too plus off the drive rush because of the burnout, so the throw was a little early. Game one, there goes the Mena. First nail in the coffin. Light rainbow that time. You did a good job of representing it a little bit, making Angry Bird think of it. Wow, what a response. Overhead. Old <sighs> oh, noggin. It's going to be me after this is over getting some food. <laughs> How's this, he says. Caught him walking back with that crouching short. Very nice, but the OD, the wake up. Yeah, get him out of there. Trade combo. Yeah, that one hurts. Mena could have even killed off that if you drive rush with the throw to do it. And we are picking up the pace. You can feel it, he's starting to march forward here, and Angry Bird's got to try to get some uh, rounds on the board, some games on the board quick. You know, this is a good draw for men, I must admit. Uh, yeah. Blanca historically does well against Shotokans, right? Yeah. Especially when you have the lead, so. But I see that from Angry Bird. I feel like um, he has the right idea in terms of what he's looking for, but he's looking too much for the jab, the jab ball, or the pierce bar for the for the, uh, the the proper punishes. Yeah. And he's getting walked down at the same time, so there's a little troublesome in. Mm -hmm. Back throw. Nice, try to get the perfect parry, I see. Yeah, he's looking for it. But then that's when he does the shallow ball, right? So just like that, and he beats the parry, and suddenly you lose 2,000 damage and some drive gauge. The call. Uh, say it with your chest. I'm going to mix you up. Oh, trying to beat the parry. Yep. You see it. He's beginning to believe. Oh, a little early on that, and Angry Bear with the up forward. Nice. That was optimal, man. Recognizing the cross jab hit. Went for the stand strong. Yep, that's meaty, boy. That hurts. Oof. The igloo button's getting represented here, trying to get that perfect parry for the drive push punish. Wow, he walked all the way up after that nice confirm. Angry Bird not expecting it either. Nice. That's, yo, I gotta use that, bro. Yeah, that was really good. And it's stuff the start of a ball, so he got the confirm round on the board. Confirm, double crouching, heavy drive rush. Angry Bird figuring it out here. Bang, bang. Let's go. He's walking down. Mena gaining a lot of space. I like that counter hit confirm you called that out earlier. Yep, yep, yep. It's good. You space it out, it's safe, so it's a good gamble. Uh, you get Oki there off of the jab DP. I like that. I am, I am learning a lot right now from Angry Bird. Your tech, my tech. Oh, no parry that time for Mena. Good defense for Mena. Doesn't bite. All right, we spacing it out. Yeah, Mena down quite a lot, but he's about to have that level two pretty soon, which is a big factor in a lot of these Blanca rounds. Mmm. Oh, stop the slide. Air ball hits. Wake up, Jab. Oh, I love the defense from Mena. Just up backs out of there. Wow. Mm. Goes for the damage instead of the back. And all like that. I'm going to get the corner carry anyway. 
You know, it's not that on scale on a, on a, on a CA, so I can, I can take that. Yeah, the damage on this is not that bad, and your drive hit comes back anyway. Yep. Smart choice. Jab fireball. Okay. That was the first one, I think. Oh, oh sweet. Hit him low forward, but it's all right. Oh, catches the shimmy, of course, the low on health. You gotta guess. Yeah, and, and the lower you are on life with, or uh, drive with Blanca, you don't want to up back OD ball because you're like, oh, I'm going to put myself in burnout, right? So it, you're much more likely to attack or try to hit a button or something like that. True. True. The Sage Jam Gospel. Oh, back roundhouse. The fadeaway roundhouse. The igloo button. Catches the drive berry. Now we're in the corner. This is where Ken is his strongest. Yeah, his pressure's so good. His heavy bunch is super good. His lights are extremely solid. And then he lets it rip again. Angry Bird's pace picking up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And Mena doesn't want to do the OD version there because, you know, he's low on drive again. That's why he does that version. It's a little bit more unsafe. He gets punished. Yep. A little bit more unsafe. It's minus instead of plus. What a start of the Fierce. That was meterless, by the way. It could have been a lot worse, but it's all right, though. We need the drive gauge for the fundy undies. Uh, uh, uh. Corner to corner on that. Mm, loving the aggressive nature here from Angry Bird. Ken Mass is getting bit. Oh, yeah. Wow, the jump board. No ants here, and he didn't believe in the hit. And that pressure is to help me. Just get me out of here. I don't want to deal with it, but this is going to be a confirmed. Yeah, we need to get out of here ASAP. Wow, that is a full corner. Yeah. Oh! And the doll set up after. He's in burnout. Oh, what? I think he's trying to beat the super. Are we going to match that level one? Oh, no, 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 neither. We got space. Oh, we caught the throw attempt. What are we going to do? He catches the walk back. You want to talk about rock, paper, scissors? Angry Bird is playing it. Championship point. He is that dude. If there's anybody who's going to do that, it's Angry Bird. Look at that face. Oh, man. One game away here from being our Evo champion. And I love that he was willing to do that. He's like, I know you think I'm going to wake up with super. Here we go. I'm letting it rip. Bruh. As my beloved Tasty Steve would say, bruh, 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 and ooh. Man, we're going to have to think about this here. I thought that man is having a good time. It's difficult, but this is what you live for, man. These are, these are the moments you want. And goes back to the cannon, the sentry gun, Luke. Oh, yeah. Damn, the perfect. Ready every time. Standing medium kick, very good. Nice bait. Didn't get the punish, but I love the idea. All right, still get the punish counter, though, so it worked out. No ants here, but just the jab check on landing and Mena, lots of pressure. Love the crouching heavy punch still. All reliable. Might want to snipe out the, the EX Tatsu as well. Yeah, a lot of parry here too. And he's out of there with the air knuckle. Punished though. Angry Bird with the chase down. Scoop. Nice walk back from Mena. Pick up though. He's got lots of drive gauge and level one. He'll have level two. Level one. Oh, level two. Yeah, I didn't even see the build up. Wow. Championship point here for Angry Bird. Menace is going to have to raise this difficulty setting. Here it is. Potential final round of Evo. See what Angry Bird has in the tank. Oh, try to get that counter hit. That's a good poke, man. Kind of like slides in a little more when you do the driver standing medium kick. Yeah, look at these checks. Angry Bird just not allowing him to build any more drive gauge. That's why he's pressuring so much. And wow, we're swinging here. Snaps out that heavy punch. Drive rush. Bro, he's maybe looking for the parry attempt. Angry Bird. Hammering Mena, trying to keep that drive gauge low, but burns himself out in the process. And now Mena's going to take his sweet old time. As long as he can stop Angry Bird from moving forward a little bit, then that drive gauge is not going to heal fast enough. And there it is, big damage incoming. We do have a level three. Are we going to spend it early? No, we are not. The delay crotch is strong. You ain't taking nothing. Oh, he missed the perfect knuckle, though. Oh, my God, he gets the throw anyway. That's a huge one, though, for Mena. You got to feel that. Confidence is still there. We have to win this game in order to stay alive, Mena. Whoa. Wow, he walked in there and found that spot. Mena with a lot of meter, but Angry Bird's early corner positioning. He just rips it and it hits on the throw. What a way to do it early on. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All the way to Memphis with that one. Try presses in, finds the counter hit on that. Oh, missed the perfect knuckle again. But this one doesn't matter. Easy peasy, the perfect on that. Two games apiece. This is some good street fight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no. oh. And he has it. That's punish counter. He gets the combo on that. Side swap. And that MIDI timing is juicy. Although Angry Bird walk back across your medium kick to get the job done. Category 5. Looking for the shimmy. And of course, Mena looking for the throw. The drive impact on time. Represented early there on the fireball. The neutral jump. Oh. But we did a little too late. Oh, right back at you. The disrespect. And I'm still healthy.
Yeah, and the drive gauge is a big problem for Mena here. You see, he's, he's trying not to get burned out. He wants to jump and do other stuff, but, you know, Angry Bird taking the pace to him. Now he's slowing down a bit because it's not a big of a deal. Oh, nice good. stuff! Check. Oh my god, Angry Bird. Trying to bait the super there. Mena reversal jab. Ooh, check again. No buffer that time. He's in burnout again. Chip the big factor. You can see Mena buffering. Watch the run DP. He's going to represent it. That's why you see him. Oh, is that going to chip out? I think it is! It was enough! Last time it wasn't, this time it is, spends it all. But again, tournament point here for Angry Bird. Oh. Spends the level two right away, get that damage, drive gauge lead for Mena. He needs momentum. I like that, I like the early uh, early burnage. Oh, that's what happens sometimes though when you use that crouching heavy. That empty True. jump on and he lets it rip. He said, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna DP. Oh, he tried to beat the DP. Angry Bird didn't go for it. Wow, that's a link, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Oh, he is ready. Mena does not have level two. Uh, hey, hey, part of my shoulders. Nice, so confirm the double jab. Here we go. Tournament point, reset point in Street Fighter VI. I wouldn't mind watching more Street Fighter, to be honest with you, but hey, that's just me. That's just me and Sage Jam. Let's oh, see what yeah. happens here. They don't pay us by the hour, but I'll say an extra. <laughs> oh, the whip on it from Mena. Damn it, he hit from so far away. Men are trying to walk back. That was so good. Clipped them. Uh oh, and we in the corner. This is where Ken Masters strive. Oh no. The Ooh. throw loop. Gotta think about it. Looking for the shimmy or the crouching jab. Level three right away. I love the choice from Mena. Spend that bar, get that damage. Although, Angry Bird is one hit away. Okay. We have so much bar. Now, now Mena's gonna have to be real confident with his offense. Do not get sniped oh, knocking Ken down and your legs get blessed with a low forward. Thinking yeah. that it's an EX. Excuse me, OD. Ooh, scary trade. One hit for either of them here. He does a challenge. He baits the throw. Mena with the hit. The perfect knuckle. It's enough. We've got a reset. And that's what I like to see. This is a classic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. And Mena's looking for the finish, and so is, and so is Angry Bird. T Yo. Bro. This is it. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. God damn, this is a good tournament. Oh my, we got our reset action here, everybody. Can we all make some noise for this Street Fighter VI final set of the tournament here at EVO? Ken versus Luke, locked and loaded here, back at it. Fresh set, thank God, that was stressful. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. stuffed it. Man, Mena is looking sharp so far. I have to say, defense looking good. Mm. I, I swear that traded into a combo. Okay, right. perfect. The Kurt Hennings. Take throw? No. We, rep we, we are respecting the wake of the jump back fierce for the knockdown. I love it. Yeah, Mena's awareness on those anti-air positions have been fantastic. So, oh, no, and the back dash too. It's yeah. Looking very good. Burnout now. Angry Bird trying to walk him down. And you see Mena doing a whole lot of nothing. He's like, okay. Mm, good DP. Good check. You see oh. Spin right? Oh, what a mess up. It's okay, though. That was level one super, and he missed it. Better rip missed. and a block. That's going to hurt so much. You might die here. Level two. It's uh, very uh, close. Uh, uh, and the oh, drive game. Oh, Does Mena do level one again? <laughs> Yo. My man, plug into the matrix. Remove the needle from the back of your dome, AJ. Yeah, to do it, right? I mean, yeah, burnout. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh, not the dual sense. It's okay. Not. It's okay. Let's not panic. Controller. Oh, did his controller just die? Oh no, not like this. Is he? Re He's like. What are we doing? We're gonna continue. They're playing. I love it. That's respect. That's a throwback. I, I concur. Let's move forward. We're trying to game. Check there with the medium kick. Harry again. Oh, I gotta say, his timing on the Dragon Lash is so good. Mm, mm. Nice. Oh, he's trying to go for the optimal. That's the Roundhouse version of the Gen Rock. Yeah, it's very easy to miss it, though. Man, he got the counter hit combo anyway. Backdash. Snipe. He tried to do the air knuckle. The air to air from Angry Birds. Very good. Oh, bad mistake. Well, wake up buttons. He just wasn't afraid. Man, this round is so hard. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a hard round to win if you're Mena here. 
I think it's a safe bet. We're going to stay with Luke. Yeah, I think you're right. He's going back, reselecting, making sure everything's cool. He's like, yeah, let me just check real quick. Let me just check. Mm -hmm. Yo, my man got some fire Alba cover pictures. Just saying. I, well, we can see it when they're cutting it up right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Angry bird. Oh, we're going to the Blanca. Never mind. Oh, he did switch it back up right back to the Blanca. Okay, so he's played both characters so far. Fresh set, right? I agree. You know what? Yeah, why not try it? Why not? They skip the intros again, and I whoops, my bad. Nah, let's get to business. Mm, trying to get the perfect parry. It's getting scary out here. He's starting to react to some things. Yeah, he's trying to find it. Mm. Ooh, nice whip punish, though. Crouching medium punch for the drive rush. Oh, yeah. Wow. We saw him try that so many times. First time it's worked out, actually, though, for Mena. Does he do it again is the question. No overhead. I love it. Mm. Oh. Too early. But I do like the idea. And the throw bait as well. Mena's Blanca looking very sharp. Yep. He can switch characters so well, and he just immediately is right there in the zone. Yeah. You, can just, you can just feel like he's just running out of steam with a character, right? So he switches it up. Yeah. Oh. Caught him holding up back, trying to hit him with the up ball. Jump ball, excuse me. There you go. Attaboy, Mena and Rundi found his way out the corner, but the drive rush connects here for Angry Bird. Nice challenge. That is negative. You get a nice extension here. Oh, this is, you don't want to back roll this. Okay, yeah. Quick rise in place. Good knowledge from Angry Bird. Oh, then a back recover right. Yeah, makes the setup a little bit more dastardly. We saw that one earlier. Uh, 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 uh. Do it again? No, not even. Not close enough from that situation. Good parry. Oh, he parries all three, too. He got so much drive gauge back, and that's huge. I think with a drive-up extension, it should be enough to kill here for Mena. Mm, flip the tables. Nice. Man, game on the on the board for both of them here, and they're right back in with the rematch. So fast in this game. Yeah. I love it. Thank you, Capcom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shake my hand. Oh. Golden Duck can try to walk back that crouch. He's short, so potent in that string. Yeah, any character who can do that is very, very strong, I think, yeah. Both of the top teams can do that, right? Luke, right? Yeah. Can, Cammy. Oh, I like that idea. Wow, that didn't cross up? Nah. Maybe because it was on hit, right? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Drive rush. Oh, he's a better. Stolen. Oh, you can get that? Oh, I know that. I just saw Yipes' is mine. He just, it got expanded. He's like, okay, good to know. You can oh, and the whip and the punish. Round on the board for Angry Bird here. Doing a good job. I think after that kind of explosive punish, it's not unlikely someone's going to reversal, you know? You're feeling the pressure, you're like, oh, he hit me with something nasty, I'm about to wake up. <laughs> I'm a punch in. Oh, no, big damage. The starters, I love it. You know, certain people, including me, I get a little lazy, but I'm going to keep it safe, low forward. Now, I need the better punish. Oh, hairball punish on this. Fierce Shoryuken, of course, for the open, for the stand. Fierce, there it is, and it was meaty enough. Do it again, no, we're conditioning. We're trying to snipe it out, there you go. And activates here. This is the comeback factor, level two. Oh, punish. Mm. Set up. Takes the side swap, beats the throw. Oh, he missed. Oh, he the ball missed, so he didn't get the setup. That's a huge drop there from Mena. That is a finish. Absolutely. Yeah, you're supposed to do ball in the down forward ball, and it gives you enough plus frames to set the doll. It's just unfortunate that he slightly missed on the ball. Mm, is he just trying to throw him off, not let him get comfortable with certain matchups? Just keep putting him in the in the wheel of misfortune, huh? We'll see, though. And they skipped it again. Look at both of them laughing at them skipping the intro. The yo! Having fun, man. That's how you know it's a good set when both of them are having fun. Nice! That's good. That is good. That is stolen right there. Uh, uh, part of my shoulders. Take throw, try to go for it. Good check there from Angry Bird. Yeah. My turn. Jabs in this game are always minus, right? So, besides Angie, as you mentioned. So, take throws like that have a big gap. Watch. Look at that, just wait for maybe a DP or just a whiff low forward, crouch is strong even. Look at the ranges that they're fighting. Oh, caught him walking back, that was so clean. Men are deep, all part of the plan. We in the corner. And his Dragon Lashes, he's been letting him rip. Oh, I like that, that's a cool combo. All right, I'm going to that. All right. Oh, a little too far, maybe crouching medium kick would have reached there. Men are just buffering. He's looking for the parry, doesn't find it, and that time he didn't do the air flash knuckle. Angry Bear ready with the DP. Man, I love the choice of jab DP just so it won't be like crossed over, right? It's on the cross cut. Yeah, level two, trying to get the kill. Almost. Not enough. <gasps> jab a little out of range. He's gonna overhead, string overhead. 100%, I feel it, I feel it in my ball. Oh, level two! Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. 
Is this enough? I think it's dead. Dead from the first of Pixel from Meta. Incredible. Oh, he's so aware there. He just had the confirm ready. Oh, mm. double drive rush and Angry Bird. A little drop, but he got the pressure with the Dragon Lash anyway. That's tough. Good stuff, man. Oh, Jab DP, the choice. Walk back jab. Really good from Luke. Oh, he tried to fireball and he missed it. He got the uppercut. All right. Category five back into the corner. The pad and the catch stuff. We're going to force the jump. The perfect parry. That's exactly what we need just to get out the corner. I love that choice there from NRD. Walks up with the throw. Oh, and stops him. That driver's jab has been the hallmark of his play so far. Really difficult for everybody to deal with. Mena cat down a lot, and that should be the kill here. Maybe level one, right? Yes. Optimal. Save that ball for the next round. Oh my god, championship point. Once again, hit the Angry Bird. This is it. Potential final round of the tournament. Drive rush early. Mena, lots, lots of offense, right? Trying to keep things a little bit more pointed towards this side of the screen. Nice. The stuff there. Oh, he tried to beat the throw, but a little late on it. Go time. All right, we're representing that OD now on the wake up. Spine bust. All right, drive rush? No. Sandblast pressure. We're trying to hold this lead. Men are deep. And the drive rush jab. It's been unstoppable so far. Look for the parry. Uh oh, one hit here oh. is all it is. Angry Bird, lots of pressure. Tournament point. This is the chance. Last guess for Mena of the tournament. The trade. Goes to the knuckle. It doesn't reach it. That'll do it. Angry Bird, your Street Fighter 6 Evolution 2023 champion. All the way through over 7,000 competitors. An incredible run in that loser side for Mena. But there it is. His first time in Evolution Top 8, his first time in Grand Finals, and his first win. You can see the emotion on his face, Angry Bird. Incredible stuff. Feeling it after that. And that's how you know these guys are laughing in the set. They're having a good time. You know, the emotion is not only the positive, but this is just, he's letting it out. All of that he trained is, you know, for months and months and months. And everybody out there, make some noise for Angry Bird. My Your goodness. first Street Fighter VI Evo champion. And what an incredible player he is. Yo, that is love, Angry Bird. It is okay to cry, man. I just want everybody to know it is okay to cry here in the FTC, all right? This is. This is serious. This is real life. This is passion. Yeah. This is what we love to do, man, at the end of the day. Whether it's playing, talking, helping on the staff side of things, whatever the case may be. Oh. We're always going to be emotional. He's man. right there with the championship. I love to see him lift that thing held high. Put it in there. Yeah! And you know, he's worked so hard for this. It's one of those things that a lot of people work so tirelessly for a goal and don't get it. But it's just the emotional payoff of doing it is just as big a lot of the times, right? And Angry Bird, an incredible player. I like, again, you know, he lost early on to Big Bird at Kumite, but I think the winner of that, likely the favorite for the tournament. I'm so happy he got a moment to shine here, and I'm sure Big Bird is just as happy to see it, right? Incredible work. These two have been streaming every single match they're playing, streaming, playing online, grinding with everybody across the world. They're really trying to be like, hey, everybody, this is how you play the game. You know, we're not going to hide anything. We're going to just train every single day, try to be the best that we can be. And you can see it paying off here on the EVO stage. Right. And not only that, they don't hide anything. They share no. it with everybody. So in terms of, like, you know, explaining it to the nitty gritty. But, man, I mean, what a long adventure, dude. Like, I, I, to be honest, I didn't, expect, I didn't expect this to be the grand finals. But it was all part of the process as we're burning through the 7,000 competitors, killers, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and yo, much respect to Mena RD. Uh, you know, he, it's not even like he calmed him down. He just wanted to let him know that, hey, listen, it's okay to feel this way. This is hard work and you deserve it. Congratulations. I feel, I feel like that's how kind of how the conversation went. Yeah, I mean, of course, Mena wants to be the champ, right? But like at the same time, I'm sure losing to somebody like this who he has a lot of respect for, you know, he knows that he, he played as best as he could. Things like this happen. He got the little input error there. And look at that. I mean, look at the support from Mena, right? This is crazy, man. That's how you know. It's not just about being competitors, but these are also friends, right? There's rivalries and friendly rivalries, things like this. Everybody has a lot of respect for each other on this stage. And there he is, right and center, the EVO champion. 7,000 players, and now there's one. Oh, boy. What a long night. Yeah, what a long night indeed, but it's been a good one. These matches have been so, so good. See, we're going down the line here. Chris Lee up on stage, been doing this medal ceremony the whole time. Can everybody make some noise out there for Tokido? 
These two, Chris Lee has put a medal around Tokido's neck and handed him Evo trophies for 20 years or something years. like that. It's been a long time. 20 years he's been handing Tokido those Evo medals, by the way. Up next, can everybody in the building make some noise for our runner-up of Evolution 2023, Mena R.D. Yo, Mena, yo te quiero mucho, loco, oíste? That's the man right there. That is the man, bro. That is the man, bro. He is that dude, of course. Two-time Capcom Cup champion. First time in Evo Finals, and he's up there, second place on the stage. Incredible work from him. And you know, even though he doesn't get the championships today, I think a lot of people respect him to the core. Incredible competitor, you love to see him here. Up next, the Alpha. My God. Yo, give it up for Pink the God, y'all. I say pink, you know he's not wearing pink, you know, just have a little laugh there, man. Fuck the God, I mean, you, if you're trying to get to that top level, you're gonna go through it. Make some noise for him, everybody. The Alpha Academy, supporting punk, content creator, player, personality, incredible competitor. And man, the, the, the two most ridiculous sets, I think, of the tournament almost so far were won by this guy, or were lost by this guy, rather, in this top six. Make some noise, everybody, for Kakeru. Just two nail biters. I could have seen him in winners' finals, grand finals of this tournament very easily, you know? This is, wow. And I just got to say real quick, we missed it because the camera didn't cut. The one person we didn't get to see the medal for, can everybody make some noise for Haitani real quick? Word. Word, I didn't even catch that. Damn, good, good eye. I didn't even catch that. I got you, Haitani. I got you, bro. My man. Big fan. First person to get master with every character, by the way. By the way, that's a fact. Check and it out. Our final one. Everybody in the building, make some noise for your EVO champion, Angry Bird. Well earned. Well earned. That's a long trip, by the way. Yeah. The, I mean, they came in early. Him and, and Big Bird came here early. They were doing some gaming. And they don't hide anything. Again, their channel is FGC Birds on Twitch. They play and stream all the time. They play everybody in the world. It doesn't matter if you're 10 MS or 200. They'll play anybody, anywhere, on any connection to try to be the best. Amazing. Oh, yeah, we pass it up. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's like a bronze, silver, gold, right? Yeah, the Victrix sticks for first, second, and third. You get the bronze, silver, and gold sticks. That's the gold one up there. That's a pretty boy. Man. It's nice. He's going to need another luggage for his trophy, the arcade stick, everything he's bringing back from this tournament. This is, uh, man. You know, I'm speechless, to be honest with you. This, I, I'm, I'm like looking for the words right now, but I can honestly say this is beautiful. Yeah, I, this is one of the best like finals for a tournament I think I've ever watched too. It was, this is incredible. There's so many good matches. So, man, what a wild one. Look, man, uh, I just want to thank uh, everybody being here. It's because of you guys, me and Sage and Marvin on this table to just broadcast this to you guys. So thank you so much. Yeah. I love you guys, seriously, I really do love you guys. We love you guys. It's been a while since either of us did any Street Fighter 2, so it's uh, really nice to be back here at EVO. We got the opportunity to close it out, and you know, it's been a long time. So last time you and I did one of these finals together was way back in DBFZ, which was a long time ago. So hopefully everybody enjoyed everything here at EVO this weekend, whether you were just playing, whether you're spectating, whether you're just here to watch the finals, whether you're watching from home and just enjoying everything. You know, it's been a pleasure having all of you at EVO this year. And if you didn't come out this year, Hopefully we see you again here next year. This is our final thoughts from me and Yipes. We're going to head down to the stage with our hosts. Catch you guys next time.